Ahoy! I'm the comic book hunter, also known as just Hunter. Hello there. I'm History of the Flash, but you can call me JD. I'm Tyler, also known as Comic Boy. I'm Harper, and I'm dying. <laughs> and this is a Euro Story episode 127. <laughs> yeah, you wrote it. Oh, he got the number. Oh, thank you. I wrote it down. That's amazing. Uh, God. For those of you just joining us on a Hero Story, Harper wasn't here last week, but he is this week, and he is, in fact, possibly dying. Tyler's also joining us this week. It's been like a month since you were last on, I feel like. I don't remember the last time I was Has on. it really been that long? It was... Three weeks, maybe? Was it Wonder Woman? Wow. I've been Wonder Woman. Maybe. That was the and that drained me for Christmas. a while. <laughs> yeah. No, that was New Year's. Is but New Year's? anyways, Tyler yeah. decided to come back this week despite not really... Not having read a any... single comic. Yeah. I just... I just woke up this week. I was like, "Hey, why not?" I can, wanted I can. to be with the boys. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Anyways, it was death metal the last time I was hero on. story. A hero story is a podcast all about superheroes, ranging from Marvel and DC comics. We usually start off the episodes by going over <clears> the news <throat> of the week. After that, we will cover the comics of the week. This week's comics are the Legend of Shang Chi number one, DC Future State Next Batman number three, Wonder Woman number two, The Flash number two as well. And is that everything? Probably. Yeah. Okay. Those are the comics we're covering this week. I only read one comic, and Tyler only read zero comics. Zero. So you're yeah. asking the wrong guys. Harper, did you read more than one? I don't remember. Okay. Well, we'll get there <laughs> when we get t- there. Are you okay, bro? Like- Amnesiac Harper. I, I I don't feel well. <laughs> he's he's but he's. He's uh, Spider Man three. Uh, uh, Harry Potter. Osborne. He's like I know that Chief face. Franco. I keep holding Spider-Man my head because I think, I think my head is Still falling apart. Still got the apart. moves. That's what he's going to say. Your head is falling apart. You good it to keep going though? Right. Like you good to keep I read. Yeah, of course. I'm always here for a hero story. What came out? The Flash? <laughs> um, I just said it, but yeah. You just said it. <laughs> yeah. I'll be honest. I muted my mic. I had a big cough. <laughs> <laughs> I think I, I read three. I read three books. Well, as you can see, we are all in, well, almost all of us are in different countries, so we are social distance right now. We don't record in the same it's room. so distance. <laughs> Extremely yeah. distance. Tyler, for JD and Tyler. Tyler and I are in the same state. Yeah. I'm, but... right now. I'm in Connecticut right now, but usually we're- Never in mind. State. We are in neighboring states. <laughs> <laughs> usually we're in the same state. Usually. But at the moment, we are not yes. in the same room. So even though Harper's nowhere near safe, the rest of us should be pretty good. We've never been in the Harper, same room. Harper, you sent me your address mm-hmm. one time and I checked it. It was like 10,000 miles away. <laughs> it was, so, so it, it was like inconceivably far. <laughs> it was, it was a, this <laughs> is so great off topic. But someone was talking about like addresses and I sent my full address and Tyler was responding to someone else. And he went, why the fuck would you send someone your full address? Yeah, why? as soon as he sent just mine. sent his. Yeah. And it made the perfect screenshot. And then he like looked up where I lived and he's like, Harper, you live nowhere. Yeah. <laughs> no, but when, when like Tyler impressed shank. me a lot that day because he was like, he's like, oh, we'll meet at the halfway point. And he just named the country that was the Turkey. halfway point. And it was actually accurate. Like, it was, was like, li- oh yeah, I was actually very Geography? surprised. I said, I said like, oh, Turkey's probably the halfway. And it literally was exactly the literally. halfway. Literally, Turkey. <laughs> He knows his geography. Anyways, uh, I guess we'll get into <laughs> the actual episode, starting from the news of the week. I Wait, actually... before the news of the week. Oh, yeah. Big Boom. thing. You idiot. Boom <laughs> Studios. You idiot. Um, our <laughs> book is out. Well, it's printed, I mean. Um, the Price the Hero Pays, the comic book by me, Hunter, and Drew, is printed, finally. If you're on YouTube.com slash Hero Story, you could see it in my hands. It's really cool to see a book with my name on it. And Hunter's name on it. Yeah, and mine. Drew's name on it. Um, it's awesome to have in my hands. And uh, yeah, it, the first batch have been mailed out. So if you ordered one, you will be receiving one soon. It's also going to be on Comixology. And, Probably in a few weeks, uh, though. It's being reviewed by uh, Comixology right now. So. Yeah, yeah. Comixology has to review it to make sure there's nothing bad in it. But uh, they can say no. Yeah. Can, can say, well, no, it's, it's like if you do something. I don't know if you do something. <laughs> It's like, uh, no, we don't want this shit. And then after that, um, <laughs> there are some extra physical copies. So if you didn't get a chance to order one, uh, reach out to me because I have a bunch of extra ones. So you, you would have to pay for it, by the way. Oh, yeah. 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 But it, I think we're charging. What are we charging? Because it's three issues, it's a trade. Uh, on the Indiegogo, we charge 15. So that sounds, you know, about right. Just message. Okay, uh, that's about $400 here. Yeah, oh, so. <laughs> yeah, it's like a week, like three hundred in Canada. <laughs> but uh, message a hero story on Instagram, and we'll be sure to get back to you. Uh, our website, a hero dot com, 
Oh, Hero! I think it's a Hero Story comics. Yeah, Hero Story comics dot com. There should be a web page. Probably not by the time you're listening to this, but maybe like a week from now, there should oh be my like God. a shop now option on there, so you could buy our book. But if you prefer digital, it should be on Comicsology <laughs> in like two weeks, three weeks. Maybe. I don't know if you guys noticed this, but this is on topic. As soon as you guys gave me the login details for the Hero Story Instagram account, I took out the a hero story comics part and just made it a hero story again because i was always like this is more about the podcast anyway why does it fucking say comics i changed the whole bio and oh like you... the name the name in the bio oh, oh no, no like not you the, changed not like the, the not the oh, username like, yeah i thought you meant the url yeah, to, like, to the, the website i'm like what? i cleaned up the bio and the everything hero story and i was stinks like for the next. no one can, yeah <laughs> i should have put hey hero story is not stink we put on deodorant every day Oh wow! Go to the gym, bro. <laughs> Stick it up. <laughs> I, th- I thought you meant you took out the URL for a second. I'm like, that's what, what I, I was like. Just to oh, sabotage for no this, reason. This yeah. has been a just a failure of communication. <laughs> this whole this whole beginning of the episode has been a bit of a failure, but you know, that's, I'm really interested. You know what I am am very interested in this week is some news. Let's let's talk oh, about. Okay. Oh, oh. Well, I have the news for you right here. We're starting oh, off with. Uh, no. I'm no longer calling it live action news. I'm calling it adaption news. Adaptation. It's adaptation anyway, dickhead. <laughs> well, how did I, you do so? Oh my God. Okay, anyway, in live uh, action uh, news. <laughs> anyways, adaption. in live action news, uh, we have, well, kind of live action news. This is more actually podcast news. How is it live action then? <laughs> I put everything in a, in a because this is a real podcast. It's not animated. <laughs> no, this is actually like a podcast news. So there's a podcast coming out called Batman: The Audio Adventures, which will oh be a comedic Batman podcast story. It's kind of like an audio book, but it's going to okay. be like voice actors going on. Jeffrey cool. Wright is going to be playing cool. Batman. Jeffrey Wright is uh, playing Jim Gordon in the Batman coming out. So he's voicing Batman. If you enjoy Batman, it's also the podcast. Watcher. What if? Oh, I didn't know that. I didn't realize that was his voice. <laughs> I feel like you definitely knew that. No, I actually the idea did. that Hunter was going to change the name and he to an incorrect word. word. <laughs> Arthur, you're like Forever. crying. <laughs> I, 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 Dude, I'm you're crying. sweating oh. so much. It's not sweat. It's just, I look glossy. I'm not sweating. I just feel, you got, I feel ill. You got way too defensive when I said you were sweating. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not uh, sweating I'm glossy. I'm not sweating. Keep, my, keep in mind my... that this uh, this uh, podcast isn't going to be like a very serious tone. They said it's going to be very comedic and for the all ages, I believe. Ooh. So it's not something I'm interested in, but for those who are... Anyways, uh, the Snyder Cut got up. a release date. It actually has a release date now coming March 18th. Believe it or not, I actually thought there was a release date already that was around March 18th. I thought it was the 25th. I thought it was the, yeah. The I thought it was around there too, but no, it five is five year of uh, BBS, right? Yeah, but it's officially March 18th. And then they also pushed back Kong and the day I because of that. Yeah. Oh, that that's the reason why. Okay. Well, yeah, it's coming out on the 18th. There was three kind of posters showing like the Snyder Cut in like a crumbling building and stuff like that. That's where I <laughs> wish it would it. stay. I wish a fucking building would I can't believe, have it. they ever promoted a movie using the reel of the movie as a poster? <laughs> like, it's have they ever like, done that? The footage that's was like, lost, but it's been recovered. Yeah, that's like if they like, the next Avengers movie is a post, the poster is of someone holding the poster for the next Avengers movie. <laughs> Like what? It's oh, it's so... like it's like the it's like the textbook where they're holding themselves on the textbook. On the textbook, yeah. Something. It's okay. so weird. <laughs> I guess that is weird. Really... I mean, in context, I think if you're gonna do this poster for one movie, this would be it because it's yeah. like the lost footage. Do you hear what they? Uh, I don't know if you guys heard. Is it on the news? No, it's not. Okay. Um, the the whoever the fuck is playing Martian Manhunter said that it's like a mocap character so i guess martian manhunter is going to just be a character in this movie it's yeah, going to yeah, be the yeah. guy from bvs and man of steel right yeah i don't know his name yeah, though. harry harry linux or something mm-hmm. what's his yeah name? oh yeah yeah it was always confirmed henry <laughs> show up. is he but he's going to be like an actual character i guess i thought that he was going to be in maybe a scene or two i have no idea but they could have reshot <laughs> something because they did do like we'll a find out on march 21st or whatever March 18th. March 18th. What are we gonna are we gonna audio commentary that one for four hours? Oh my god. Can you no. imagine? Probably. Can you imagine? Hunter's computer can't handle it, but yeah. 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, we'll, we'll be reviewing it that week when it releases. Uh, it's it, actually it, happening. It comes out and Tyler Monday. will be on the podcast. Can you ima- It's actually happening, though. Like, this is madness. Yeah. Like, I'm I actually, know it's like a silly thing to talk about, but the Snyder Cut is actually happening. We make like, fun of it a lot on the show, but I am legitimately looking forward to it. I am. I think I'm, I'm looking forward to it, too, for no reason. Yeah, like, that's it. I'm, I'm morbidly interested. Like, I, don't I saw they are, <laughs> they, 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 it got its R rating. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's but, another oh. thing. <laughs> I saw a tweet that was like, if there's anything that screams, I don't get the Justice League more than rating and making an R-rated <laughs> Justice League movie, then you know that's it. But also, the guy said, I guess if anyone was gonna make an R-rated Justice League movie, it would have to be Zack Snyder. So, yeah, like exactly. if Zack Snyder is gonna make a Justice League movie, I guess it has to be R-rated because that's he's just that's how he is. Because so. that's Zack Snyder. I don't know. Yeah, what the, he's I really, really have no edgy idea what this ever, movie can be. Like, I feel like ever since Snyder announced that it's R-rated, he's been on like this huge like hype mode or. People are just like, does Cyborg say booyah in the movie? He's like, F he's no. Like, he's, he's like, fuck no. Yeah. You're an idiot that, for thinking that, was, that. that. That entire event was so bizarre. It was like, it was like, like are you going to you... say booyah? No. And then like, people were like up in arms. And I was like, yeah. who cares that much? And then Ray Fisher was like, are you, if you're really that mad about not seeing this catchphrase, why aren't you mad that Diana or Superman doesn't say such and such? And it was like this fucking battle over, like, yeah. He said and like, booyah. I get what he's saying because he's like, he yeah, I get want, it. He too. doesn't want Cyborg to just be the booyah catchphrase, but at the same time, it's, it's, it's a one it was, word. Well, yeah, the, the, but and honestly, the thing about the that, Ray, who, the thing about that Ray Fisher tweet when he said, like, oh, you don't complain that Wonder Woman doesn't say Great Hera or Superman doesn't say this looks like a job for it. And I was like, actually, it would be pretty cool if they said those things. Yeah, and it would Also, I think <laughs> Cyborg says Booyah more as a catch. It'd be like if Iron Man didn't say, I am Iron Man. He it's says like that if Iron Man didn't say, oh, man, I really need a drink. Yeah. <laughs> yeah shut <laughs> yeah. the fuck up. He's like, oh, I should get a <laughs> seltzer instead. <laughs> It's odd, but even then, in in the Joss's League, like the theatrical, he does say booyah, but apparently they bullied him to do it. So, but he like mumbles, he's like (laughs) booyah, kind of thing. I kind of prefer like you know when Injustice, like when Cyborg enters the Injustice League, when he pick Injustice and he comes in, he goes, he like he shoots the sky and he screams like booyah. Yeah, it's like I wanted something like that. But this isn't your fucking mom's Cyborg, bro. This is dark and grim. You don't understand. (laughs) This is Zach. This he's got no dick. Zack Snyder. Think about that. He's got no dick. He's got no body. He's got no dick. All right, here's my question. Of course he's mad. Kind of unrelated, but I always wondered. It's like they show him in Batman v Superman. He's just an upper body, and that happened from like a car crash. How the how did he get that (laughs) fucked up? It was, uh, it, was a rated, it was a rated R car crash. Oh, I guess we'll <laughs> Done see. By the like... one and only slow mo It was it was a, so it was a Snyder crash, so it like rolled in slow motion. It slow and it's oh, literally yeah. just like a, half a head and an upper body. And his yeah. dad was like, "No, I can keep him alive." <laughs> what did you think was gonna happen? Yeah, you were going dad, to build dad, a Frankenstein. Put a, you know, dad, like, please put a bullet in me because I've yes, been on this wall for two please years. Please kill me is what. Yeah, he's just exactly. like kill me, and he's yeah. like, son, I'm gonna. No, fix son, you. I can make you better. I have no Booyah. dick. <laughs> I this might be an unpopular opinion, but I don't get the hype over R-rated Justice League. I really don't understand why people are like celebrating opinion. it. Is, no, yeah, you look in comments and everyone's celebrating it. And if you if you yeah. see comments being like, this doesn't need to be R-rated, means good, like. People are idiots. <laughs> it's just this exactly. league. That's just like, uh, it's like people are always like, they should make like an R-rated, dark and gritty Darth Vader movie. No, the fuck they shouldn't. They yeah. should never make an R-rated, dark and gritty anything Star Wars. Yeah. It's, like, it's just fundamentally against well, well, people. Like, well, and we this is make Justice a, yeah. League. It's like, this is kind of like when Batman, Batman vs. Superman, when the Ultimate Edition came out on the Blu-ray, they said that the Ultimate Edition was going to be R-rated. So when I got the Ultimate Edition, I was it's like, oh, I wonder if something blood. like... Is something gonna be really different? It was like a little bit of blood on the wall, and I'm like, okay, yeah, is this really like needed. <laughs> I, I, I had to show my ID <laughs> when I bought this Blu-ray. Like, yeah. did I really? You need do say Ben aspect? Affleck's yeah. ass just? Oh, oh yeah. that Affleck ass in the shower. Woo! Hulk's ass. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! <laughs> but even then, and, just... and uh, if you have your bingo card, that's the running joke of this episode. Okay. Yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> it, it's Please just put... kind of odd that they're they're people in the comments are getting all angry 
when people def- start saying like, "Why is this deemed to be R rated?" It's like, it's "Oh, it's Snyder because, fans. Oh, they're gonna get angry." No, Justice at League. Anything. You can't make a Justice League movie that isn't R rated. Otherwise, it's bad. Yeah. Like, okay, when did you when did you get introduced to the Justice League? Oh, when yeah. I was a kid, I found the animated series. Yeah, the animated series. Yeah, it's oh, yeah. like because they're always okay, murdering so... people and saying "fuck." Oh, yeah, so they're, they're rated R. Everyone's having sex. Okay, like, no, but that was then. the funniest one. Is with the the Ben Affleck the he was like um my batman swears like at one point in the movie he says fuck it literally sounds like a kid in a playground yeah that was snyder i had batman i made batman say fuck fuck. yeah (laughs) well to be fair zach snyder did want batman raped in prison he did jesus it it doesn't make sense that he wanted to rate it our batman remember when remember when this is the middle ground people were like zach snyder should make a batman film and it's like no no yeah what would happen God, that I'd be okay if you help with cinematography, with maybe if you help with fight scenes, but don't don't do the whole thing or anything. Don't have any role of the story planning. What a there. weird guy. It's just I'm, I'm looking forward to it. I think I will legitimately like it. But when Batman swears, I'm gonna cringe inside. Because what if it's really <laughs> awesome and badass though? What if it's really cool? What if it was actually a fake out and Batman's like, "What the heck, Superman? What the dick? What the dang?" <laughs> Yeah, what, what, the same what if he says it here? and like, what if he says it and the random symbols come up like they, they would in a comic? Him. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Lex, Lu- Lex Luthor's zip drive goes in, and instead of <laughs> the logo f- showing up, it just says "fuck." <laughs> My favorite thing from this week was what Tyler sent me, and it was Zack Snyder did an interview with like yeah. Cinema Blend or something, and he's just like. You know, there are there are a bunch of critics who say, you know, some stuff about my movies, and I would just like to, you know, take them to task and talk to them and just point out how wrong they are about like all of these things. I'm like, Zach, you have well, never actually read a comic. You look they at the asked art. Him, I don't they, know if you've read anything. They whoa, asked whoa, 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 whoa. Um, His favorite superhero is Doctor Manhattan. Doctor Manhattan. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they, asked asked him, <laughs> they asked him. They asked him. Does the is there toxicity in your fandom? And he goes, well, I guess there's like a couple bad eggs in everyone. But think about the people that are always shitting on my movies. Like, I could go to task. I could tell you everything that's wrong about what they say. And then he brought up a point that's like a, 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 a toxic fandom wouldn't like raise money for suicide prevention and whatnot, which is true. But mm-hmm. also, come on, man. Some of your guys are dicks. Like, just a, but also, but yeah. that's boiling. That that's the thing. It's when people play in extremes. It's like, oh, these people did a good thing, so it means they're all good. Or these people did a shitty thing, which means they're all bad. It's probably very yeah. 50 50 But that being said, in my own experience, I've <laughs> never had so many people come for my throat than DCEU fans. Have you seen you the comments on the thing? And on it's our like, video? I'm gonna kill you and your whole family. And it's like, <laughs> Jesus Christ! Have you seen man. the comments on like the commentary we did, all directed to me? Yeah. Like, just got like paragraphs long that are like, oh, no, "This is what? why Batman brands people." It's like, oh, shut up! I don't like, care. <laughs> give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> the BBS rewatch. Yeah. Jeez. You either like it with 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 the, the Snyder base. You either like his stuff or you don't get it. That's what it is. Yeah, that's what that's yeah, what they exactly. say. There yeah. is not no either love it or you don't get JD it. JD and no I, life. we both really like BBS, but I don't think we are considered like part of the Snyder cult in a way. <laughs> the fact that we're having this conversation right now proves that you're not because you can have an actual conversation. And again, this happens in all fandoms. I get it. Yeah. Tyler and I know what it's like to talk to people about The Last Jedi. Even as me, who is like in the middle on that movie. <laughs> I'll be like, yeah, I thought Luke was pretty good. And then someone will be like, you're an idiot. And I'll be like, okay, yeah, you fine. don't understand Luke. <laughs> I'm like, well, yeah. I mean, it's all the same movie as you, man. Yeah. <laughs> the last thing of Snyder Cut news is we got our first blurry look at Joker and Justice League. It's hard to tell what's going on here. It Everyone was like, like, finally, he's back. What did you see? You didn't see anything. <laughs> see if he's got oh, a this card. Is good. It's like. <laughs> Just a white to be fair, so why, why, is it, why is it even finally he's back? When did he even start for him to be back? I mean, yeah, I, people are I like, of like three I don't minutes. Know. People and, are and very excited. Penguin. Mm-hmm. Wah, wah, wah. I saw someone do a comparison. It was it was Heath Ledger, Joaquin Phoenix, and <laughs> Jared, Jared Leto. Leto. But at this new photo, and it was just two, you know, HD pictures, <laughs> and then this blurry picture with like a card at the screen. And I'm like, what are you comparing? I also because you don't want to compare his other looks. <laughs> when I went exactly. on, I went on Vero, that dumb app that he loves or whatever, and I was checking the comments on that like picture, the Joker picture, and the, everyone there calls him Boss. They're like, yo, Boss, what's this for? I'm like, what the fuck Jesus. do you? Th- it's the Joker. What, what else would it be? <laughs> like they just, know, yeah, boss, it's just like, what is it? Yeah, they just want him to respond. I think. Was this yo, gonna... Boss? Can you confirm? <laughs> was this? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Was this a rumor or is it confirmed that this Joker scene is going to be in the nightmare scene? 
Because that's what I, I thought it was before they the also rumors that he show... doesn't have the uh, the tattoo on his head, which is well, it didn't great. look like it from no. from the little we can see. It didn't How look like he was pale he's white. Damaged. It's true. Maybe it's his Perhaps broken. He's not. <laughs> Perhaps he's got it all together. Yeah, maybe he's totally fine. <laughs> oh, maybe it's yeah, maybe it's his like happy on his forehead. Mm. <laughs> Fulfilled. This could be the nightmare scene. You'd be like, "Hey, hey, Batman!" Snyder oh. did. He did release another shot of um the nightmare, nightmare scene. Batman. Yeah. So in like a hallway. Oh, I guess we'll that, get that's another. The, that's the one scene. scene that I'm looking forward to the most because I don't. Have, I can just like turn off my mind and just watch really cool post-apocalyptic DC. The other stuff that I'm a little like. Uh, yeah, it's four uh, hours long, so yeah. <laughs> it better be something cool in it. For uh, going on with the news. The Flash, Batwoman, Legends, Tomorrow were all renewed for new seasons. I don't think any of us watch those shows here. So <laughs> gives the slightest of fucks. For those listening who uh, uh, care. Uh, if you care, how hey. did you not drop out four years ago? I say that as someone who kept up to date for some reason, man. I kept up to the date Flash? until I think season five. I think I, I was I watched every I watched up to date until season four started. That was the thinkers. Are we talking are, about? Are we, yeah. Oh, that's 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 oh, where that. it nose dived. <laughs> yeah, I thought season three was cool, and then I was like, I thought it was four. cool too. Yeah, I didn't think like, it was. It was bad. such a crazy tone shift. Hmm. It went from that's like, exactly yeah, and I know that was the point. They were like, we got to make this more light again, but it's like, can you be but consistent? It, it straight at least? up went from a show that <clears throat> looked like it had a budget to like being a made Sesame Street, yeah, kind of so proper. It was so bizarre. Like mm-hmm. those first three seasons, at least feel like they are. I also, a show. and maybe this is a hot take. I hate that season four suit. I hate it. You know the Thank future you. suit, it's just baggy leather shit. The future suit. He's got the future suit. That one. <laughs> I hate it. I think it's so <laughs> dumb because it's not even the baggy. Ch- it's like the zipper is like a mile yeah. wide. It, it looks so fucking. But also, stupid. if you watch like, you just as grab the season goes them on, you see like like the cow is a different color to the rest of it. Yeah, and it gets like <clears throat> wrinkly and weird. It's so bizarre. Yeah, yeah if you ever like them. moves his head, it like opens up. Like the current yes. suit is pretty much the perfect suit to do for it. It makes show. no but... sense because the the costume from the first three seasons, the best part of it is the cowl and how it fit his head, yeah. and that when he moved, you didn't get any of that weird like rubbery leather pull look. And then like season four, they're like, oh, if you take a photo of it, it looks fine, and then in motion, it looks utter garbage. I, I, I only watched saying that. JD and I, <laughs> you good? I'm good. <laughs> okay. Well, Let me just JD and I, we only watched the first episode of season four, I think for the podcast, because we had Eunice on and we all reviewed the first episode of season four. It was four just... or five. I think that was five. It might have been five. I thought it was because his daughter his daughter was in there. Wasn't that five? That's five. Oh, yeah, yeah it was because it, it was the plain one. What happened? That's the last season. episode I ever watched. That what was happened the, in the... season six. Shit. Does anybody know? I know. I watched it. What happened? Oh, really? <laughs> the, the, yeah. The, the first half was him fighting blood work from Williamson's run. The, the two first issues character? in Williamson's yeah. run? I yeah. own the first and he, appearance. He was actually pretty good. The first eight episodes of that season, they're not like as good as the first three seasons, but they're like way better. And then the second half is a gender swapped mirror master. Okay. And it is <clears throat> arguably like the worst flash i've seen yet it's so boring it's like iris is trapped in another she's trapped in the mirror dimension with the other mirror master oh it's a different because i was gonna say for like the entire season season and there's a mirror version of iris in the real world that barry is with which they do point out later there's a mustache is that out no she's like the mirror version is just like it's me barry it's your wife you know the one you shared your bed with and he's like get away with me i was like Barry was fucking this like mirror version of his <laughs> wife. That's so weird. Man. So the plot of Jordan Peele's Us, basically. I was about to say, isn't that Us? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah kind of. <laughs> I watched that very recently. That's Us, funny but like watered down that. for CW. Yeah, Barry's like, honey, was. I'm all home and mirror eyes is like the tethered. <laughs> that's a good impression. <laughs> that's that's you just exactly. gotta like close up your throat and talk. <laughs> If I do that right now, I'll he will die. Blood. Yeah, <laughs> I'm actually Wait, Harper, 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 you have new voices to display. We'll lose him. I do, but I'm gonna pepper them throughout the episode. At, uh, oh, okay. You know, is okay. one of them Important Jordan Peele's Us Shadow Form? No, it's not. It, yeah, it's Jordan Peele, director and actor. Was, there was a girl. <laughs> Just talk like that. It's good. 
Yeah, thank you. No, it's not that. It's they're far more absurd. <laughs> I'm, I actually, so when I was getting the news of the week this morning, I was shocked to see that Legends of Tomorrow was still on. I swear that was canceled. Yeah, what the last thing on. I saw of that show was like Puppet Constantine. That was years ago. Oh, it was like Constantine season four, yeah. was in the show. <laughs> yeah, he was a main yeah. member for like two seasons. Well, he, he almost got me to watch it. Mm-hmm. I've like only seen the first then... two seasons, or the one with yeah. Reverse Flash was the last season I watched. Hot, yeah, hot take. Season two of Legends of Tomorrow is one of the best CW shows. <laughs> is it? Yeah, like, I remember that. Which one is that? The Legion of Doom one. My, Legion of Doom one. It's That's with so the Matt good. Matt Lesnar Reverse Flash. Yes. Such a good Who was so the Legion good. of Doom in that show? It was him. It was Damian it, it was Dark him, and Damian and Dark, and um, Dark Archer. What's it? Malcolm Merlin? What a wow! What, what a team! A small team. <laughs> well, it's like it's like Arrow versus like yeah. discarded bad B-list guys. list villains. Past, yeah. Well, besides Eobard, yeah. <laughs> it, there's an episode where they have to save history because someone is trying to like kill George Lucas, and that's gonna like ruin history. And so oh, they have to. Yeah, save. I remember that. Well, isn't there an episode where they had to Star save Wars. Obama from Grodd? That's like two that, seasons. That, 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 that yeah. meme clip has made its yeah. way so <laughs> far around. Where... Obama. Barack, oh, Barack, Barack Obama. Barack Obama. Yeah. <laughs> It's Grodd. It's like, you just, if, you just, if you just look up like on YouTube, like Gorilla Obama, that's like the first ten results. <laughs> Why on? <laughs> <laughs> but I think JD's history. <laughs> I think what's it called? He um. Do you think Obama's seen that? No, no bro, surely. No. What like is this? Really, uh, Obama actually is pretty is this- good with pop culture, so I feel like he has. <laughs> He does, yeah. He, watches, he probably like, tweeted about shit, it at the time. Crazy. Yeah, yeah. It was, that's just so weird to think about him watching the boys in <laughs> his way. Yeah, right. This, this is, is so pretty weird. good. What a weird show. <laughs> the boys are um, Legend no Legends of, of Tomorrow. Yeah, there he is. He's watching. <laughs> <Rock> <laughs> it's a gorilla. It's a full gorilla it's in this so room. Funny. Imagine how confused you'd be. <laughs> If you just yeah, it, <laughs> a big ass <laughs> monkey is standing on his on his hind legs, and he, and from, he says your name in, gosh, in you your head. Grass, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, he, and he telepathically <laughs> says your name. Oh my god! What like if, imagine you during this podcast, like Grod busts through Harper's door, and it just goes, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Joshua Harper. Speaking of the Flash, I had a weird conversation with Eunice one time where I was I made fun of him for I was like, oh, it's you know your favorite TV show, The Flash season four, and I was like honest, and I'm like, look, I'll be honest, dude, I've seen The Flash season four twice because I watched it and then I showed it to someone, and he was like, bro, what is wrong with you? Why don't you like go watch a good show like Daredevil? And I was like, you think I haven't seen Daredevil? And then I was like, here's the thing about Daredevil Eunice, and then after that he was like, oh, uh, okay, good. <laughs> such a week he was like the idea that he would say to me like oh you you, maybe you should watch something like daredevil <laughs> i'm gonna recommend what? this common character to you harper iron and man. uh yeah. iron man yeah. uh, iron man uh, you probably should go watch a good it. movie maybe really yeah. iron man. <laughs> you probably got no idea i was I'm like just actually shocked we haven't seen Eunice post about wandavision yet which makes me think he hasn't seen it which means i'm scared makes me think he has he's post. been watching it with his like his, me his friend group people oh know, okay okay that makes sense uh, I have watched some of them. It's a lot of, and bless him, but it's a lot of them talking and Eunice nodding because he clearly has no idea what's going on. Star Wars. <laughs> oh, so, oh, so me on the podcast. I cool. think they were talking about like who should they cast as Mephisto and you can tell he's just like... <laughs> <laughs> who should they uh, cast Doctor as Strange, Mephisto. yeah, he can show up, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we love you, Eunice. Come back on A Hero Story maybe one day. When the flash is never happening, not not now that yeah, I'm here. It's never happening, <laughs> yeah, no, not anymore. Um, we got our first set photos for Thor: Love and Thunder. Thor is in a thunderstorm jacket. Oh, he like looks, jacket. He looks so, so wonderful. Cool. He, looks he looks amazing. Awesome. And Chris yeah. Pratt is in such a good suit for Star Wars. Very purple. It looks very. Cool. I saw the I like, dumbest. Yeah. I saw the dumbest fucking tweet today. <laughs> yeah, and here and it go. annoyed. It might have annoyed me because I was just tired. But it was. It was so stupid. And it says. Peter Quill, Star Lord's new slash Star Lord's new jacket in Thor: Love and Thunder reminds me of this one found in Legendary Star Lord. I don't know if you can see it. That suit is based on the one from the movie, so no shit, they look similar. Like I said, that's like if you said, "Oh man, Wonder Woman's DCEU outfit really looks like the DC Rebirth one." I wonder why. 
<laughs> yo, 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 the Flash, on the the Flash season Gal-Gadot zero one. comic, dude. That the, <laughs> it just looks just like the CW suit. Dude. Yeah, yeah, it's like, yeah, exactly. dude, how has no one pointed this out before? Yo, oh that suit God. Brandon Ralph wore really looks like the Kingdom Come Superman suit. Yo, <laughs> like what the fuck? That? That's funny. No shit, they look similar. It's like if someone said, "Oh man, this really looks like vote. This really looks inspired by Vote Loki." No shit, yeah. it's literally <laughs> him with a vote. It's the same outfit. It's the exact same. <laughs> Oh and even God. then, that really it, annoyed me. Boat and it doesn't even look sane. Boat Loki's design was has like Tom Hiddleston as a main inspiration. Yeah, exactly. Too. Yeah, that's the point. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's <laughs> like they literally people. You know, when people are post panels of Russell Dodderman's Loki, and they're like, he looks, or you know, they're like, oh man, Tom Hiddleston has always looked just like Loki. It's because they drew Loki drew to look to like look. Tom Hiddleston. Well, well that's like Nick yeah. Nick Fury with Samuel Jackson. Like, exactly, wow, he looks yeah. just like Samuel. Yeah. Well, he's based on Samuel Jackson. <laughs> no yeah. shit. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, that that tweet really bothered me. I was just like, can you not think like for two more seconds, bro? Where do you someone think that costume me, came I, from? I don't know if it's true, and I doubt it is. But someone was like, if you look at Thor's top, it looks like he could be wearing like a retro Iron Man T-shirt. I got a few messages Fucking about that. Hope that's true because that would be so cool. <laughs> the, the Rob, cool. Like rock star. He looks Thor really like cool. Iron Man oh. top. They all look really that cool. Up. I'm. So, oh my god, yeah, Craglin like, is cool. on set. Yeah, yes. he's got more of the Yondu look too now. Yes, he does. Well, he was yeah. supposed to be an Endgame, and they fucking cut him. Damn. I like Thor's hair. How has the braid going down? He looks very. Yeah. Norse type, which I'm very, glad they're going very, back to the long hair. I like very Chris jacked. Him. I really liked him with the short hair, but I much prefer Thor with long hair. He's also got like the uh, the Kirby bottoms, the Kirby. Yeah, he's, yeah, the, he's the got boots. the shoes. Yeah, the boots. So cool. Blue, blue and yellow. And he, there's a uh, animatronics for his goats as well. So we're getting. Oh yeah. Yeah, we're getting Is, Nasher in yeah. there. Yeah. Very cool. Finally. This movie is going to be so dumb, but I, I think it's going to be incredible. <laughs> it, it's going to be it's going to be so stupid. I have way oh, too man, go. it's going to be a it's going to be a not so fun. Star Lord has a full, yeah. <laughs> Star Lord's just got kidding, a not beard. a theater because New York. <laughs> yeah, um, Star Lord's got I, a full beard in there. Which people makes also me say he looks like Thunderstrike. Like, well, American that's Master the only comparison you can really do. He does. Yeah, it's just the jacket is like literally just the jacket. That's it. Yeah. And, and there's no reason he would be that character. People mm-hmm. always go way too far when they see something that visually looks the same. They're like, oh my god, it's the same character from the comics. Thunderstrike is a different dude altogether. It's, it's not different. Yep. Thor. It's and Eric, even then, it's not Donald Blake. It's Eric Masterson. It's like I completely different people. I guarantee this isn't his final suit. He's going to wear this for like a, yeah, a, I mean, a few seasons. Not his, obviously, it's not his Thor costume. We'll yeah, see he's going to have an actual Thor suit. Which and it's probably going to be the Kirby costume because oh this is god, the give, give him the Kirby. helmet, please. Give him the helmet. <laughs> That's all I ask. We've seen it for this like this movie. It's going to look very good. This oh yeah, will. it's going to be so fucking bright. It's going to be so cosmic. Oh my Jeremy. oh god, it's going to be so silly. How many times are you going to say that like each week, Hunter? It's going to be so cosmic. You say cosmic every I do? other. Yeah, oh my god the last three episodes every now and then you'll be like oh it's just so and then i'm like he's gonna say cosmic and then you're cosmic <laughs> and i'm like there it is <laughs> someone yes. put that on the fucking bingo sheet man we need Hunter a new says bingo cosmic. Sheet. <laughs> you say it a lot it's not I even a bad that. thing to say yeah, yeah no i know it was it, I, maybe it was last week with caleb but there was a part where you were like, it looks really, you know, spacey. It looks really, and you pause. And I'm like, he's trying to find it. He knows the word is there. And then you go, cosmic. I love it looking cosmic. And I went, there he fucking goes. I knew it. I got, uh, so I used to not be into cosmic type comics. But this year, or I guess 2020, I got really into them. I read a lot more Green Lantern and Thor than usual. So yeah. I guess I've I, I been more be, of like a cosmic I used to be movie. very much the same than a couple of years ago. And then I read... I don't know. I don't even know what I read, but I just read something and I was like, you know what? Cosmic Marvel, Marvel in specific is just the fucking This is the perfect DC's opportunity thing. for Tyler to bring up what he said to Hunter when Hunter was talking about Avengers traits. What did it say? <laughs> I know exactly. Oh, what when, about. when I said, oh yeah. Well, it happens every time Hunter brings up a Marvel comic he read. Like a lot of the times you bring up, man, insert Marvel comic is so good. And, and I'm like, I know I'm the one who told you to fucking read it. And <laughs> It's like the you know the scene in Pulp Fiction where he's like, I know how good my fucking coffee is. I make it. Like that's yeah. that's how I feel. But the it's, one you specifically yeah. said for this was like because, Hunter was talking yeah. about it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah somebody said, um, 
you should read in whatever they told you to read hunter and then i mm-hmm. said and then you said oh sorry but tyler made me read a million avengers oh yeah. i said i didn't make you read anything you dickhead because you're gonna be done with this and i'll still know more about the avengers <laughs> <laughs> which is which is true i like i've only gone into marvel for like two years now and tyler's been doing it since for like 50 years yeah. The only Marvel Before comic I was born. Probably the only Marvel comic that I've read that Tyler's never read is The Legend of Shang-Chi, which came out yesterday. <laughs> Guess what? If I pull up the comic. Imagine that. I just have it. This here. is the only Marvel knowledge I have above Tyler. And I'm about well, I still and probably it's, know it's more fucking about Shang-Chi average at best. Yeah, <laughs> this is this is it. This is it. And I've read a but lot I take of pride Marvel in it. recently. I really do. And I'm I'm afraid that one day there'll be a part of Marvel you know more about, and then I'll just I'll, I'll have to kill myself or something. Oh Jesus! Oh my God! I was I was about to say something because I just thought you haven't been reading Donny Cates Thor. You guys do read Donny Cates Venom. You literally just read Marvel from the eighties and nineties. You will know more about Marvel from the eighties and nineties than Tyler. Yeah, but I don't want to read. No, they, no, they won't. We talking about yeah. they would know more about the eighties yeah, and they 90s would know more for sure because you don't read that shit. You don't care. I yes, I do. I I know it. I've read it. Name one it. book. Name one book from the eighties. Bring Name Miller one Daredevil. book. Born again. Disagree. He's never read that. <laughs> 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 oh that was actually what i said to hunter too i like i i screenshotted tyler's message and it, it was like i'll still know more about the avengers and i was like this is me to you but for daredevil yeah yeah that's how they said all that started it was like i'm gonna read every freaking daredevil trade ever and then you you read some and then you just fucking stopped and i was like what happened there dude? i read a lot and i am just on hold right now i, I like get, the- you know what shits me too is i gave you a list of a bunch of obscure ones that i'm like you know what i reckon hunter will like these and you just fucking neglected you didn't it and I was like, say i like it i i sent you like fucking six screenshots of books and you read half of them you bastard I'm anyway. still going. Okay, like, I, 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 I really not really take pride if, on, if only we, if only we had a book club to make us read certain <laughs> stories. I just oh, think, man, it's, that I would think be it's a, hilarious. That would be a cool idea, thing. Should we talk? Can you about imagine it? like Hunter reads e- the exact same amount of issues that Tyler has of the Avengers? They should That's have the goal. same knowledge, well, but Tyler still knows more. <laughs> well, the thing is, so I also man. take pride. Like I know, I I don't think there's a part of Marvel I haven't read a run, at least one run of. Oh, like, like an era. DC, yeah. No, no, no. Like, like, uh, you know, like the Guardians, the Avengers, Fantastic Four, Spider Man, Bobby Black, any team, any major character. I don't think there's a part of that of Marvel I haven't read a run about. And in DC, I'm missing out on a couple. I haven't read JSA. I haven't read Birds of Prey, Bobby Black. Right. Yeah, but I think like my time is here. Marvel. I know. I, I, I have like all of it down pat. You're like ex- encyclopedic encyclopedia <laughs> i'm an encyclopedic you're an encyclopedic well i like to say and i don't know how true this is because i just say it but i like to say that i have like a nearly encyclopedic knowledge of marvel Ency- there's the word He's yeah. a college since guy. 2004 i like yeah. to say that i know like basically everything that happened in the marvel universe when you you made a story one time uh when you were like when you showed you like your marvel list of events from like uh, yeah like 2000 to present and you said, oh, if someone has a DC list like this, could you send yeah, it? Was, I, did anyone ever get one for you or no? Well, they were people were putting together a list, but I found one online that was like very specific. And I started reading, I read, uh, I started at the OMAC project because I was like, that's where I want to start. I don't want to read Identity Crisis. So I'll start after that. And I read Darn. OMAC. I, I'm terrified to read Identity, reread Identity Crisis because I read it when I was 14 and I loved it. I read it and when I, I was like gonna seven. Hate, and I know shit. I'm going to hate it this time around. So Yeah, I just, yeah. And so I, I read OMAC. And then I'll, I'll get to Infinite Crisis. I actually started reading a little of, of uh, Jeff Johns's Flash. So, oh, oh that's a good one. I'm, hey, at the, I'm on the Pied Piper issue. Oh, <laughs> listen, I, I'm, a firm, like a I'm a firm believer that Jeff Johns' Flash is like two separate runs, where 164 to 200 is like yeah. great, know, and then the 201 to 225 is like eh. Yeah, no, 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 no. Ignition. I like is, Rogue War, but I mean Rogue War kind of under Barry Allen is, is decent, and then Rogue War is really good. But I, like, it, but I read Rogue if War. You I like Rogue it War. does. It, it and is Wonderland like, and Blitz. It goes it peaks, up like this, and then it just, yeah, like, and it dips, and then it builds back up again. It takes a huge dip. Two oh, that <clears> that story arc after Blitz is just like not it. Yeah. So. Anyways, fuck that guy. Uh, should we maybe <laughs> fuck Jeff Johns? Should, should we talk about book club, or should we do that another time, or should we? I think it'd be we should talk about it, right? 
Steven? Comp Book Book Club is an idea started by Tyler, where uh, yeah. I think it was started by Tyler. Um, yeah. Where basically there's a book of uh, uh, the month, the week. I don't know how. I think it would be of the month, right? Yeah. Of the month makes sense. As you know, what book clubs are where uh, a book is presented to the four of us and we all read it and then we discuss it in like a video. Like I was thinking um, either one of us picks the book of the month or maybe we ask people to pick a book. But I'm afraid they would pick something stupid, like they'd make us read Mouse or something. So maybe, maybe just the four of us, <laughs> maybe just the four of us, like it, we we go off and on. So maybe like, you know, I, I say read Secret Wars or New Frontier or something, and then you guys say read whatever shit. I can't so, and then, believe or, he hasn't read New Frontier. And then oh, Dark Side War, yay! What, yeah. a creep. <laughs> what a book nobody's read. Um, but then, <laughs> then we, yeah, and then we discuss it. <laughs> Yeah, I thought that'd be cool. So Yeah, I, I like this idea a lot. Um, I was, was saying like the four of us could even like we all present a book and then we have the audience vote on which one we do first kind of thing. That'd be cool. That's that's cool as well. It's a good idea. Yeah. We won't do it on the show here. We'll probably do it maybe, you know, maybe for next we episode. We have to collect our books. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And then we'll read it. And then the listeners, if you guys want to read it too, then it'd be kind of like you're tuning in to reviewing a book. And, that and, I, and yeah, like the point, read. I think the point would be to get us to get to read books that we normally wouldn't mm-hmm. so like i would say read uh guardians read, of the galaxy uh, oi, oi there read armor yeah. wars right yeah or, or, or he finally gets me to read armor wars yeah you, you should do that harper because I've, I've actually never finally get you to either. read any iron man book from pre-2000 before <laughs> besides demon in a bottle yeah oh that's right because you were like i've read nine issues and i was like were those nine issues the <laughs> demon, demon in a bottle, bottle trade yeah. and you went yeah all that mattered was the one demon in the a bottle one issue <laughs> yeah. yeah okay yeah. Well, you know what i love more than book clubs though what some awesome news let's, <laughs> let's continue the news of the week. wait wait this is a podcast i thought we weren't even recording yet going this on with the news tedious. of the week which i just realized we did stop Suddenly, Elizabeth Olsen says that WandaVision will have a Luke Skywalker type cameo. Now, Luke Skywalker was quite a major cameo, so who could she be talking about here? Doctor Strange. It's Luke Skywalker. <laughs> <laughs> Doctor Strange. He chops is, up I Jimmy Woo and fucking well, does it. Mm, <laughs> In the were, same way, like. <laughs> there were <laughs> WandaVision leaks. Yes. I don't know Which if anybody else like that. I'm not going to say it. Spoil. No. Yeah. Okay. I did are they, look are at they them. legit or no? I yeah, they're seen. legit. They're legit. Oh. I watched it because I don't give a fuck. I'm, I'm at this point where I'm like, I just want to see what happens in the show, you know. <laughs> and know. there was a character there that she might that might have been the one she was referring to. That is a pretty big deal, but I don't I, know I if know that's who it is. I think it's. I think I know who you're talking about. Like I don't actually I know, haven't yeah. spoiled. I saw we like won't a. Say it. We won't say it. I saw a bad photoshopped like mock up, and I was like, it's probably that person, but like. I don't know. So well, the who, fact that I don't know anybody, either yeah. way means I pretty much don't know. So, I also think, though, if it's who I think it is, there's going to be someone else. I don't think that's it. Well, here, here's well, one the... thing, too. Uh, Paul Bettany said that there's a character, likely referring to the yeah. same character that Elizabeth Olsen I have said. my theories. He has been in a movie with before, and they got to reunite acting together on WandaVision that he's very that's excited for. I doubt he's talking about Benedict Cumberbatch. He must be talking about someone else yeah. here. So I, my, also my the, guess, real quick, before you say your thing, Tyler, uh, he's been with a movie before with Sir Ian McKellen, who plays Magneto. Oh, <laughs> that's a random ass pick. Though. I don't like, think that would ever happen. happen. But it would be, Luke Skywalker be, type cameo. What That can't be Doctor Strange. It's, it's got to be an X-Men, nice. right? I don't think I it can be. It, I don't think it has to be an X-Men. I feel like that's See, the I was way. thinking. I was thinking, I was thinking like, mcu related i wasn't even thinking i about have that. yeah MCU. first of all the uh i'm not gonna say who it is obviously but the 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 wandavision leaks were from episode six which means there are still three more fucking episodes after the leaks yeah. that we saw which is insane to me considering what the leaks were but my theory is that this is a deep dive in guardians of the galaxy 2 they were initially going to have uh nathan fillion be Oh, uh, Wonder Man. Uh, Wonder oh, Man. Wonder Simon Man. Williams, yeah. Wonder Man. Yeah. Oh, that and was then they, like the they cut the cameo. He was gonna play. He was gonna be playing Tony Stark in a film about Tony Stark. Are you waving? Your, are you raising your hand? I have my arm raised. <laughs> oh. This is a classroom. Because because as part of that Iron Man read I've been doing, I've been reading that '90s series of Avengers along with it, and in that, for some reason, Wonder Man is like trapped in Scarlet Witch's consciousness. Yeah. 
I don't, I, I haven't gotten to a point where that's explained at all. It's like 14, 15 issues. And well, this is another, the thing. It's, it's like, just, you'll just people, pull him out of nowhere and he's like, fuck yeah, I'm here. People so, always assume that it's always been Wanda Vision is just like the OTP or whatever, but it's Wanda and, and uh, what's his name? Simon, Wonder Man, were together for like a long time. The Vision's brain waves in the comics are based on Wonder Man, yeah. his brain. Yeah, so that's that's I think it's going to be it. him because also they show, you know, they did the behind the scenes thing and there was concept art bright as day of Wonder oh, Man. Was too, yeah. Yeah. So yeah. he's probably going to show up and they cast him and he's a good actor. So I think yeah, it, probably, it should be yeah. him. And but also I don't fucking think that Grim would blow Reaper. people's minds. Yeah, I don't think much. that would, yeah, they'd be like, who's this guy? What yeah, that, but I hope he shows up because that would I be I think awesome. he's going to show up though, but I think I know who she's talking about. Yeah, I, I think so. But also, if it isn't who I think she's talking about, then this show is going to be Then who crazier. else could it be? Yeah, yeah right. like this well, show is... This uh, this show gets better with each episode too. I've never like, I, I, I can't even think of the last show where it's just such a big mystery that I'm just, I want to unravel so, yeah. so much. That, that was me with Lost when Lost was... Oh, yeah, Lost, yeah. What a timely <laughs> reference. JD, you're you're caught up on WandaVision, right? Yeah. I literally know nothing of your opinion on the show. You've never mentioned it. Well, he said one time in the chat that you can tell people are starving for MCU content because they love it. Yeah, yeah I think like I said that. that on the podcast. Yeah, people yeah. are like, star- that That was after the first two episodes because people were talking about it like it was like, you know, like I the was greatest the thing way, ever. Mm-hmm. And I was like, all right, let's, you know, let's tone it down. I, I think it is enjoyable. I, I, you know, I don't think it's the greatest thing ever. Like some people, you know, they go a little wild on Letterboxd with the ratings, but you know, I think it's very good. You know, I enjoy it. It's well made. After the first two, I remember being like, God, this like sitcom idea is going to wear so thin for me. And then, and then, the then next episode one three, up, I was yeah. like, I was like, okay, episode three, that's interesting. They were like immediately kind of breaking things down. And then the fourth was just the fourth and it was fucking wild. I was like, Maybe we just- get another one tomorrow. We get it in what in six, a few hours here. Yeah, yeah I, I know. I know Harper, Tyler, and I will be watching it right when it drops. Yeah, I'll, I'll watch up. it at seven p.m. I'll, I'll, I'll be I'll watch it at three in the morning. Yeah. Three in the morning. Fuck that. I watch it at I one a.m. Always am. do it. I mean, it's I not know, even. You go to like, sleep at five. <laughs> well, not anymore. I have. I sleep earlier, like regularly now. But every Friday, I don't <laughs> I have, have class on Fridays, so I, I woke up this division. morning and I was chatting in the with Harper at like. 5 a.m. I was really expecting Tyler to pop up, like still being awake, like <laughs> me waking up for the gym versus Tyler, like still awake. And I was like, this is gonna, this is well, gonna I have a class on Thursdays at 9 35. And so, what I do is I wake up at 9 34 and then I open Zoom on my phone and then I take attendance and then I leave. <laughs> <laughs> and that, hey, and true believers, that's sleep. how you pass get, college. Yeah, I go back to sleep I or I, I eat pancakes Tyler, or something. I was like, I was like, I have to drive an hour and a half to work and an hour and a half back from work. An hour and he and was a half. like, he was like, I roll from one side of my bed to the other and open my, my computer. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that was it. <laughs> that, yeah. That's a long way though, an hour and a half every day. Yeah. I guess not I don't every day. Like... I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, well, I just have a question. Is it five days a week? No, it's three. Thank fucking Christ. Well, he wouldn't be here right now if he had to drive. Yeah, yet. exactly. It's a yeah, fire. Okay. dickhead. Right, that's crazy. Hell. Okay, fair enough. I got a little lucky <laughs> recently. I, I got a job where I could work from home. So, got oh, what? Lucky. Yeah. What is yeah. it? Congrats. Uh, I, I won't say the company on here just in uh. case they don't want to, but I will say I am doing graphic art for airports uh. worldwide for like Whoa. COVID 19. Yeah. So That's I'm doing like dope. wear your mask, social distance, stuff like that. For right now, I'm doing one for Bulgaria, which is pretty cool. That's wild. But That's it's my old. artist. Woo! Yeah, I made it. Yeah, yeah. I was gonna say that's my country, my, and I was gonna be like, no, it's not. Working my Bulgaria is not my nine to yeah, five I know. job. I know. Fucking miserable day in, day out. Driving home, getting home at six o'clock, <laughs> laying on my bed, thinking if life is even worth it. Hunters. Just Thank God you can listen to a hero story on the dreams. way home. <laughs> But you know, the only thing that gets me through the week after I commit to that drive is some more news. Let's get into more the news. <laughs> uh, War Machine will be in Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Uh, he what? was not Wait. supposed to fucking say that. Yeah, no, 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 let, let, me, let me just let me just do the. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. That's for the thumbnail, and you put War Machine like on the yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Do we post? No, 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 but don't make it, don't make, just do make it Don Cheadle in a different movie, like in Hotel Rwanda. So he's really yeah. surprised. <laughs> what, yeah. Just the idea that I watch any movie and if Don Cheadle or Robert Danny Jr. Yeah, show up, I'm like, yo, it's Rudy. 
<laughs> it's War Machine. Like two He's decades be before Wars. he was. Does anybody else have Rwanda. the same response when Don Cheadle says anything? You just go the cheat or something the like cheat? that. Does anybody else no. say that? No, because I read the news and I went the cheat, and then I, I showed my roommate and he went, "Oh, the cheat," and I was like, "That's a thing. That's just a universal." That's amazing. <laughs> I really would love yeah. to use that because that's it's just so a weird. universal language of Don Cheadle is here. Oh god! For cheat. some reason, every time you I just my love roommate, Don Cheadle so much, man. <laughs> so Tyler, fun. you are one what? of those people, Tyler, that posts a lot of images of you in your room, and so yeah. for whatever reason, when you say my roommate, I always imagine just another you. So, okay. Oh, yeah, because I'm I, going crazy in here. I, I, I thought, thought his, I I thought his roommate that. was that Daisy Ridley poster. Oh, that I post every day? <laughs> yeah. yeah, you post in your room every day. So. Well, I have Robert Pattinson posters everywhere, too, so it might be him. I, I just, might just be going crazy. I watched The Invisible Man yesterday, so maybe there's someone else in my room as well. That's a good movie. That was the yeah, Max, solid movie. Yeah. Solid movie. yeah. Uh, so, well, two people uh, in this call in are not American, so we can't. Even that was the last film I saw in cinemas, and it probably will be the last one. Last movie I saw was Tenet. Yeah, for yeah. me it was for me it was well okay. new movie for me it was Tenet. Last I watched Tenet recently and it was really I, I can't explain why, but I loved it a lot more. Is it on HBO Max? I want to watch I it. I know exactly no. why. I just realized why. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but it was so much better th- th- this time. Anything would have been better like that. <laughs> yeah, it's true. But it was really good. Anyway, <laughs> that's so funny. But Moving news, on with the news. Uh, Tom I'm just Holland. News. Tom Holland calls Tom Spider-Man Holland. Three the most ambitious standalone superhero movie ever, which has people questioning: Is this not a Spider-Verse style movie? He says standalone, but we still know that Doctor Strange is in this. So quit he also out over it. he also said people were like, "What do you think about working with Andrew Garfield and?" and Tobey Maguire, and he was like, well, I met Andrew at a party once, and I met Toby at another party once. He's just lying. I mean, he's such yeah, a he's, good... he's lying. That's he's, exactly I was going to say he's a good liar. He's not a good liar. He's not. He, he, and he's just like, it's it's going to be Spider-Verse. Like, there's no way He just that can't it say isn't. it, yeah. And, and yeah. can you no, imagine the... if this movie comes out and it isn't Spider-Verse? People would be so mad. Oh, my God. There'd be riots in the street. <laughs> <laughs> Capital the Daredevil is apparently going to be in it as well. Like, it's. Yeah, we'll see. I, I I assume they're waiting until WandaVision ends to re- to reveal whatever this movie's going to be. Well, well, that's kind of. We... I think the ending of WandaVision is going to be something massive, and that's when they'll like unveil information. There's got to yeah, be something because they because WandaVision ties into Spider Man ties. Because why would they hold strange. on to it for so long? Because they're past the point where they would start, you know. And they're still filming it as well, but like. Yeah, hmm. even then, Spider Man Three is the last superhero movie to come out this year we still haven't seen any official Shang-Chi. images even for shang we haven't seen anything for Chi- yeah exactly so yeah eternals you know well. you know I saw how a cool I think we can figure this eternals, out best though. you know how i think we can figure this out best how? how is we should ask peter parker from the mcu spider-man films himself what he thinks about this okay. what do you think Dude, peter what right, do you, I'll get, you mean i'll just i'll just i'll just give him a call oh he's gonna yeah, do his get in he's here, gonna... you dumb fucking idiot Hey guys, whoa, it's me, Peter Parker. Oh man, what was it like teaming up with the other Peter Parkers if you did that? Let's say, whoa, hypothetically. Um, I, I met, whoa, I met Andrew Garfield once. And, whoa, Andrew Garfield? Pretty, whoa, I mean, um, Peter whoa, Parker? Uh, Mr. Stark. Um, was Daredevil really cool? Fr- I, I, um, Mr. Stark uh, is dead. Mr. Stark, Mr. Stark. Oh my Hold God, on. he's dead. Are, are we speaking oh my God, to- is that John Favreau? <laughs> are we speaking to uh, Peter Parker or Tom Holland? I'm, I'm Tom Holland, but I'm oh. method acting. <laughs> oh, God. I've met someone just like you, and it bothered me a lot. Whoa. Oh, hey. Big punch of PTSD. <laughs> no. Hey, guys. Ask me anything about Spider Man. Was Spider Man, um, is it going to be good? No. Are you for Spider Man Lotus? <laughs> yeah. Spider Man Lotus? <laughs> Who, who's fucking heard of that? <laughs> People are saying that the suit in that movie is better than the your suit. Do you have any thoughts about that, Tom Holland? Hey, whoa! They can like, <laughs> whoa! Go fuck themselves. <laughs> do you miss Stan Lee? I literally have no questions at all. Like, what? You, you want to talk? Do you want to talk to Stan Lee? <laughs> I said, do you miss him? But I guess if we could talk to him, then. Well, hey, I talked to him because I mean, I'm not in hell with Stan Lee, but I could be. <laughs> Just give me one second. Stanley's coming, guys. <laughs> Excelsior, true believers. <laughs> What's up, Stanley? 
<laughs> What's you good? remember I met you once at Comic Con. You also met this guy, Hunter. Yeah, well. yeah. Tyler, I didn't know you. Whoa. I don't. I don't remember that. <laughs> Do you remember yeah, meeting me? Stan, they had you really drugged up so you would sit in the chair all day. Well, my, my head was somewhere else because I had three dead hookers in my trunk that I had to bury still. <laughs> in Alberta, Canada? Ex- exactly. I almost said Excelsior as a defense. <laughs> you didn't even say that to me. What um, huh. What were you on in the 60s, man? I don't want to talk about it. It's too traumatic. Well, the '60s were fun, but now I'm paying for it. Do you What's do your, you want me to say the line? I'll What's say your the favorite line. cameo of yours? Yeah, what is your favorite oh, my cameo? F- oh, is it the uh, Incredible Hulk when they gave you? No, a- my favorite like, cameo done, would yeah. be when I was squirting the hose in X Men Three: The Last Stand, directed what about the by one, what about Sex when you were Pest painting <laughs> Brett Ratner? <laughs> what about when you were painting on a wall in Deadpool Two? Did you like that? I don't <laughs> fucking remember. <laughs> What about when you're like the guy? You're like a you're like a wanted poster in Daredevil or something. No, you. Oh, that officer. was good. Police I officer. was a police, police officer. officer. Yeah, a wanted. Really you know, old. you know what I always found strange is that Daredevil couldn't book me, but for some reason the Runaways TV show could. <laughs> that makes no fucking sense. <laughs> What happened there? Well, they're magic anyway. They probably like resurrected you or something. Oh, that's no, but I was alive at that point. Uh, were you really? Here's the thing that You're you guys day neglect. Day, but were you living? Here's the thing you guys neglect. I'm the devil. <laughs> oh, I've your always been Mephisto. the devil. So no, I'm not playing. I am Mephisto. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna be in WandaVision, hey? I cannot confirm nor deny. <laughs> nor deny. Nor deny. All right. Every Actually, now and then, I have to say Excelsior to get oh the voice God. back, or else I lose the character. Can you imagine? <laughs> you start turning into Sonic. Can you imagine? <laughs> no bullshit. If the cameo, one, uh, I'm just called her Wanda. Elizabeth Olsen is talking about is a is is CGI stance. <laughs> <laughs> it's not even good. Like yeah, just, with a black yeah, like robe, Luke and Skywalker. he takes off the hood. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. It's just exactly like Luke Skywalker. It's but it's the CG. exact scene. And it's, and it's Harper doing the voice. Believers. <laughs> he just goes over and you, you have like Wanda's twins there and Stanley takes off the hood. He's like, the child needs training. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. I'm one of him. I'll take him with me. But talent without training is nothing. <laughs> Oh god, this, and then, like, is you, so this has been a real like, full stop this episode. <laughs> <laughs> it's really grinded things to a halt. <laughs> Stanley, I love you so much. I'm so sorry that Luke Cage got canceled right before your death. We gotta get back to the news though. It doesn't bother me. I only like white characters. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh no. God. Oh no. Oh my god. <laughs> Wait, Stanley, anyway, gotta go back to hell. Enough said by <laughs> Hear a story. Oh, Harper, you're back. Harper, you God, I sure hope that it didn't like it wasn't revealed that Stanley like was Satan split? and racist or something. <laughs> you like the character in Split? Yes, I am. <laughs> you just I used to be able to do. I used to be able to. He randomly breaks out into Sonic. Well. I like when he breaks out. Just randomly, he says, "Hi, I'm Sonic the Hedgehog," and then leaves. <laughs> oh, hey, that's. I'm yeah, gonna. I'm, I'm not gonna do it. that. Screw that. I'm adding this to the news of the week. Sonic the Hedgehog is getting a new Netflix adaptation. Oh, shut up. <laughs> Anyways, we're, we're actually done. Yeah. Oh, hey, that's oh. awesome to hear. Oh, we're, just adding anything. we're just adding anything Harper. to the news now. Yeah, Harper. they're putting G.I. Joe in, in Fortnite, too. My name's Fortnite. not Harper. It's Sonic. Sonic. Sonic the Hedgehog. Sonic, your your voice actor quit recently. Are you? Do you know if Joshua Harper will be voicing you next? <laughs> um, I don't really know. <laughs> I think they're going to get Jim Carrey. I know he played the villain in the movie, but I know he can do a rad Sonic voice. God, I hate this. <laughs> oh, oh my like... God, he's leaving. This is now the Sonic podcast. I'm a big fan. <laughs> okay, oh, I, have, I have two things to say. A, why would you own a fucking pop vinyl to begin with? And Oh, wait, I've got a bunch up there. And, <laughs> and two, why would it be Sonic the Hedgehog. You've got like a pyramid of them up there, and you're like, "Why would I you?" Because I don't know how else to put them. Oh, God. I'm actually a really big Sonic fan in general. We That's know. awesome. Remember Remember we should hang out sometime. Sonic it won't be weird. <laughs> We're actually done the uh, adaptation news of the week. Oh God. Adaptation. Adaptation. I knew you guys were going to say that. That's why I pointed. Uh, (laughs) That's great. No, on to the comic news of the week. There's actually quite a... Joshua Williamson. Joshua Williamson is uh, 
I didn't write that down. What, what's happening with Joshua? Oh, <laughs> Frontier. He's writing Green Arrow and Black well, Canary. Well, not, well not, not the book. He's writing their story in Infinite Frontier. Yeah. With Alex Malev. But, but people think that it's going to turn into a title. Yeah, because I was listening to a podcast with Williamson, and he said something like he has three or four books in the works, but he only only one announced right now is Robin. So we'll hear about the other ones, which I can assume is going to be Green Arrow, Black Canary with fucking Alex Malev on the art. That'd be good. Oh, awesome. man. I'll add it to the and, list. I mean, I'll, I'll read it no matter what because it's Green Arrow, but I hope Joshua Williamson does well. Yeah, I really do too. He's gotten better as a writer. I used to really he's not like him. I didn't so like him. Good. I didn't like My him God. at the beginning of Rebirth. I really didn't, but he's gotten much, much better. That's the ultimate character. <laughs> I need to go back and listen to those A Hero Story episodes with Williamson, and then I'll do his voice. <laughs> And oh that'll gosh. be the ultimate character. <laughs> and you'll be Williamson. You can interview I'll him. I'll be him. And then he'll come on and I'll do him back to him. And he'll be oh like, uh, when did you guys get a third member? He's like, this guy's not permanent, right? <laughs> <laughs> That's what JD said when Hunter offered me the position. Oh! Uh, I'll come on to the podcast. Yeah, he goes, I'll come on to the podcast if you don't have Harper on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Imagine he said that when I asked him. Oh, that'd be hilarious. Yeah, and he's no, he has no concept of who I am. But he he's didn't like, say anything about Stan Lee or the devil. Not that oh they're the same God, person it's or anything. me. I'm back. <laughs> I don't, shot JFK. It was me. <laughs> don't summon him, summon him back. Uh, Frank Miller and Claus Johnson are doing a CGC sign. Who's Claus, Claus Johnson? Claus Johnson. Claus <laughs> Jansen. It's an Claus? A. Jansen. <laughs> Johnson. It's like he's the fucking rock. Yeah, Claus Johnson. Claus the Rock Johnson. Are you kidding me? You know that was oh Johnson? Claus Jansen. You know what? Every episode of A Hero Story, I mispronounce oh. the name, and it offends that one guy that gave us one star and Tyler. It's, it was time. me. I, I you know, Oh, man. <laughs> it annoys me every single time. Last week when I listened and you said Polaris instead of fucking Polaris, I nearly blew a gasket. Like, I almost punched a hole in the wall. I was so annoyed. Anyways, for those that do CGC, Frank Myler is doing a signing. So oh, you are such a dick. <laughs> Frank so, uh, if you're into that, you know, he can send your books. I'll, I plan on sending you a book or two. Um, Which one? Uh, Daredevil 181, Death of Electra. Because it's the only uh, Daredevil Frank Miller single issue that I own. So, and I like it. Uh, comics announced. Um, Fantastic Four Life Story. Going to be uh, just like Spider-Man Life Story, but Fantastic Four. Uh, they're turning 60 in May, so that's when issue two will release, or issue one, sorry, will release, and I believe it's <laughs> six issues long. Probably, yeah. yeah. But yeah, uh, so for those who don't know good. what this is like, it's basically going over the history and big moments of the Fantastic Four, but they're going to age. Each issue is going to span over 10 years, and yeah, by the time they get to the current era, 2021, they're going to be all old and possibly dying. <laughs> I don't think it's not each issue takes 10 years, but each issue is a decade after the last. Yes, that's yeah. what I mean. Like the next issue isn't going to continue where we last yeah. left off. Kind Fanta- of thing. Oh man, this is just everything I wanted, man. Looks, like I always so want period piece Fantastic Four stories. I think that's like, because Fantastic Four are such 60s characters. You should do 60s stories about them. And then, you know, 70s, 80s, whatever. But this this book is going to be so fucking good. And even if it's bad, it's going to be so fucking good. Yeah, they're, they're such a classic team. And wait, what? <laughs> I laid I laid back on my chair. I kind of passed out for a second and I was listening. <laughs> and I thought for a second that I was listening to a podcast that had already been recorded. And then I looked at my computer again and I was like, oh yeah, we're doing it right now. <laughs> Are we just are we figments of Harper's fever dream? I'm not I'm not doing there have been three times this episode where my head has like felt like it just went like a foot and a half. Oh like the, the astro plane. <laughs> yeah, body, like, like Dr. Oh. Oh. Anyway, I'm back. Yeah. We're talking about Fantastic, Fantastic, Fantastic Four, Four Life, Life Story. story. Hell yeah. yeah. Cool. Are you guys these, gonna be reading these this? These timestamps are gonna be a fucking doozy to of do. Of course Holy I'm shit. gonna read it because oh I'm, gonna my God. To I'm, this yeah, fucking I'm gonna show. read it. I'm gonna read it. Oh man. I'm very excited. This is like, I said this earlier, but it's like, I, this is the comic I can be excited for for the year. Like, I was waiting for them year. to announce it, but finally, I can finally have a comic to be hyped for. Now I can rest. Yeah. <laughs> it's so exciting. I, I'm really excited for this, too. And they could do Life Story with everything. Just do do Avengers Life Story, do Did you guys know X-Men the... Life Story, do anything. It, it could be like the new color book, basically. Yes, it could. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Did you know that the Marvel universe is 17 years, like in canon? So the Fantastic it's not 17. Four. I thought it was 17. It's 14. 14. So that means yeah. the Fantastic Four would have like started in like 2004 or something. Well, no, it's they, they have a sliding time yeah, scale, it's so it's like 14 years from whenever we are now. So 10 years ago it was 14 years from then, and 10 or well, not, well, okay. The general rule for Marvel is that four years in the real world is a year in the comic. Oh, okay. So if you do that, it's been 14 years since. So Peter Parker's 29. You know, Tony Stark should be like in his 50s. Um, He's not. <laughs> Magneto is Magneto. If he was in his regular body, would be 900, uh, and Charles would be like 100. Like everyone would be really, really old. But what? Raising yes, Harper. I have my I have my hand up again. <laughs> Tyler, we, we've spoken about this before with Tony, how he looks like way older in his origin. Yeah. I have noticed in, in every 80s and 90s book, when they flash back to his origin, they make him look very young, like well, yeah, well, he was supposed to be like 45 in his origin. Yeah, it's very clear that he was already like established. Because, because, now they've yeah. made it that he's like... like a like young, really hip, cool young. weapons dealer. Yay. That's exactly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's like the Ma- Mark Zuckerberg of Mark Zuckerberg. <laughs> yeah, he's the, yeah, he's the Mark Zuckerberg of genocide. <laughs> Jesus, man. What? I mean, he's not wrong. He's not that bad. <laughs> he was pretty bad. He was uh, pretty bad. <laughs> DC also announced the book Wonder Girl, which will be the Yara Floor ongoing series written with written and art by Joel Jones. Rough, rough, cool. rough. <laughs> you know what's kind of crazy this wonder girl has existed for like what a year three weeks it already no, has a series three, three, weeks. Weeks, three weeks bro three weeks a year yeah like, a year same regardless. shit what the fuck are you regardless talking? are you okay regardless. is everyone okay on this episode tonight <laughs> this is not I, I got like i got like a headache in the back of my head from laughing so hard when harbor was doing the voice like i was legit crying <laughs> um but uh, anyway i have it my hands up Yes, Harper. <laughs> can, we name, can, we, can we name this episode? The, the, why do you have a Spider-Man mask all of a sudden? <laughs> what the fuck is happening? Because when you mentioned Spider-Man, I was going to put it on, but then you started doing the voice of like, oh, I guess I'll just hold it. <laughs> it's too late now. Well, you should move, and then I'll be off screen, and I'll do the voice. I don't remember oh. what I was going to say now. Oh, oh no. Just... Can we name this episode the death of a hero story? <laughs> Please. <laughs> It's like That's before, my only request. Before recording, Tyler was like, I might die this episode. I'm not feeling so good. And even this yeah. morning, like early in the morning, when I woke up, Tyler was messaging a chat like, I don't everything feel so hurts. Good. Everything yeah, I said, hurts. Everything is in pain. And we started this episode <laughs> and, and Harper's like, I'm dying. And Harper made some, uh, some odd comment, which I'm not going to repeat before recording, which made me like <laughs> cough my head off. What, what, why do you say it like I said something that's like cancelable? <laughs> Because you did. I don't think no, I didn't. I said someone no. was hot. <laughs> oh God! <laughs> and now he's putting. The hey, true believers! I'm gonna explain this situation for the kids at home. <laughs> oh, here we go. Harper yeah, had what we called pocket. a moment. <laughs> he had a moment. I may have referred to someone, not gonna specify who, someone in this podcast's family member as being attractive. <laughs> What That's is he doing? Was. He's gonna get stuck in that, and then the podcast is He's never gonna, gonna end. He's gonna <laughs> <suffocate>. <laughs> the podcast already gone on for like two hours, and we haven't even gotten. I the like comments. how the lenses don't fit his fucking face at all. I'm trying to you zip know. it up. <laughs> it's it's the opposite direction. For, for those just li- for those just listening, Hunter's failing of trying to put on a Spider-Man mask. <laughs> Did you visit children's hospitals looking like that? You fucking <laughs> freak. <laughs> I have a different mask. You were like a dream of theirs. They're like, oh, this is this is the Spider Man. Oh, now he's gone. (laughs) Just left. Mom, (laughs) mom, can we have Spider Man? Don't worry, we have Spider Man at home. He's got another another mask. I'm grabbing a better one. Imagine if you went to the cupboard; it was the Lotus costume. (laughs) It just opens a drawer, and it's just fifty Spider Man masks. I should like turn off the camera, do this, and then turn it on. And I'm just no, because you'll never be able to turn it back on. (laughs) That's true. I'll be lost. Anyways, uh, going on with the news of the week. Oh, Uh, the news. Zadam. You guys could talk about that while I struggle. It's a jump in the world. It's not a thing. Cool was like, oh, Black Adam's gonna be called Shazadam in in uh, Bendis's Justice League, and then Bendis said, "Rumors are stupid. Next thing we're gonna do is name him uh, was Shazakwa Man." 
And it's just like, obviously, that's not going to be his fucking name. This is not going to be the name, yeah. It's like, it's probably a joke <laughs> someone's going to... Oh, my God. <laughs> Thank God we... <laughs> Why do you look like a fucking alien? (laughs) I did it wrong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just yeah, yeah. yeah. (laughs) All right, Spider Man's with us, and his hair is poking through the bottomless. Oh my god! Yeah, great secret identity, Spidey. You have a crazy beard. (laughs) (laughs) Imagine a child in hospital seeing that. Just yeah. This guy in a sweater with We've his got hair Sp- the Spider-Man's bottom. gonna come in and visit you, and it's just like <laughs> <laughs> it's this freak. <laughs> you right. look like the, th- you the look thumbnail's like... gonna be Harper surprised at Don Cheadle in Hotel Rwanda, one-eyed <laughs> Spidey, Tyler with like dead under like dead yeah. marks on his eyes. Dead marks, yes. <laughs> but yeah, Shaz- Shazadam happened. <laughs> it's a non hey, your audio quality sounds like Caleb's from last episode. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I should actually fix this, make it look more presentable. Just do the podcast. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, that's it for the news of the week. Thanks, Whitey. <laughs> now we have to talk about comics, and I just sit here because I didn't read any of This them. one's not good. The Flash. <laughs> that, or, can we start with that? How yeah, The Flash, was it? it was so, so bad. It's so uninspiring. That That's the, my biggest problem with it. Oh, it's it's like, uninspiring. Yeah. It's really it is positively because... uninspired. Here's the thing, right? You're given, you're getting paid in cannolis to write two issues of the Flash, yes. and you write this shit. Face. <laughs> listen, listen, face. listen the, the Flash. You have two issues, right? The, the cool thing about Future State, oh god, haunted Spidey, cursed image Spidey. Um, the thing about Future State is that you know you have two issues to kind of mess around and like do literally whatever you want to do. Like you could tell a really cool, interesting story and. No matter what you do, it doesn't really matter because it's not going to impact the rest of like Flash canon. And this writer decided, what if I just made something that's not interesting? Well, isn't it? It's just like a worse version of the other thing people didn't want, right? It, exactly. Yeah. And 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 it's so close to Heroes in Crisis. It's like really. I mean, I, I actually think that the Barry um, using like all the Rogue stuff is really cool. Like the Rainbow Vision, that was that was cool. I thought that was interesting. But the rest of the story is just so uninspired. And I think that, I don't know, I, I think if done a little differently, the story could be interesting because I, I thought that the villain, I don't know, taking over the body was interesting. I would have rather seen that villain take over like rogues, like different rogues and keep jumping from body to body. I don't know. I think that him just being a volley the whole time was just lame. How many people did he kill? Uh, he killed like Jay Garrick. Oh. And he, yeah, and he killed, yeah, that, that like, that okay, made me no, sad. Yeah, but- that's that the worst part is that so like he builds all this all this tech from from the rogues weapons and he's ready to go to war against wally he's like i'm gonna i'm gonna kill wally because i now know that wally is in there and the only way i can save him is by murdering him completely yeah and so he like marches out there to fight wally and he's like i'll just make sure you know that there's a chance that wally could still be in there and then he like he does all this science stuff, which is admittedly cool. Like he freezes. Oh, but the, but the, oh that, that, that pissed me off too. He just keeps saying like, I have to keep believing in the science. And he like, says he like, saying, like the uh, science believe in instead the science, of just like science. Yeah. Like believe in the science, science the reveals science-y? the answers. Science yeah. gives us the truth. I shall whatever. be science. Yeah. I, I, I am become science. <laughs> but yeah. And then he, he does this it page all. Was, this page is, w- could have been cool. I think with all like the people who died, that, that could have been cool. Uh, yeah, I guess. But it's just like, so like he, he knows that Wally is in there and he finally separates them. And he's like, Oh my God, it was famine this whole time. As if you couldn't tell that it wasn't. Yeah. Like, he was like, I heard rumors that it's probably famine, but who knows? Maybe it's not famine that just fucking killed everyone. Yeah. And then it's revealed that the reason that famine is still going is being <laughs> done to what the fuck is unmasking. Oh my God. You're bigger than Elvis kid. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> He said his line. Is he stuck? <laughs> oh. <laughs> what is going on? I'm anyway, um, really sweaty. And so the reason that famine is still able to keep going and keep killing people is because he was feeding on on Barry's hope to try and you know save Wally still. So I guess the lesson is if you if you think that you might be able to save someone don't because you'll make things worse they're better off dead (laughs) that's the moral of the story and and that's what i'm saying it's so uninspiring like 
yeah. I don't know. I, if I was writing the story, I honestly would have done something. I feel like you could have done something with the Speed Force because uh, you could have done some trippy shit with the Speed Force, like going into it and kind of like trying to explore in it. Like you could really make it like just this magic portal Narnia type shit. And instead, you pumped out this. <laughs> That's the clip of the week. Narnia type shit. <laughs> <laughs> it could have been. I don't know. It's just it's very disappointing. It's bad that my favorite page of of the Flash comic is just the CW ad. <laughs> wow, that is sad. <laughs> I, like, I don't know. I I really feel like I gained. Like, you could even say like out of a bad Flash arc, you know, you got something out of it. I yeah. I really didn't gain anything out of these two I, issues. I, I was honest, they're utterly I'm forgettable, so and they're going to go down as like the worst Flash arc since like 2000. Is, yeah. is it over? Like, is it only two issues? And not- yeah, it was only yeah. the two issues. Okay, and it, and it ends. I hated the way it oh ended. Oh my because god, the end! It ended so... with a tie-in to Teen Titans. Yeah, Cy Beast Borg shows up. Yeah. No, but that's not even thing. Booyah! The, 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 uh, <laughs> the problem, the problem with the ending is that like Barry's making this like final stand, like he's Captain America in Endgame, and he's just like, I don't have any of my powers. All I'm, like I've used up this tech. I'm still gonna like stand and fight against like famine. And then you see Wally, and Wally goes, "I'm so sorry, Barry." And then Wally, who we think is dead, mat like um, matches back together with famine again. And then it's like nothing changed. And then famine just plucks barry like half a second out of time so now barry is going to spend the rest of his life walking around the world as a ghost witnessing all of the deaths that wally famine is about to commit so the the end is like i tried my best i tried to like inspire hope and save wally then i didn't i killed him then i didn't actually kill him and now i'm thrown out of time and i just get to witness him kill more people that's the story it sounds very, what the fuck is very that? much that sounds like a great the flash story doesn't it yeah right it makes total sense are you guys sense. excited it's, for it's, it's, infinite frontier flash it's, fuck yes. yes compared to yes. this oh you okay jeez yeah no yeah. i was just asking in general cuz I, I i i did see I don't know when they released that cover where it's just Wally and holding whoever the fuck. I don't even is it Magenta? Is that who it is? No, it's it's uh Linda as like a golden glider. No, it's like oh, a Booster Gold. It's, Linda it's or Booster something. Gold and Blue Beetle like mixed like a uh, yeah thirty century version or something. Ooh. Okay, that's cool. But I did see that cover and I was like, oh wow, it's Wally. So that that was interesting, yeah, right? So, I think he's the, also the Flash on the other cover because I'm gonna read it. Out. I'm gonna. I'm actually gonna. But he's in Bart's body, body in Infinite Frontier, which doesn't. Yeah, really... like that's. It's gonna be like. It's gonna. Yeah, be people like, are. Yeah, people. People fun. get really uppity about that. Like it's not gonna be. In, like like he's gonna stay in Bart's body. I, it's just. It's a. It's a weird. <laughs> no, I, yeah, of but I always. I have a thing against Wally fans, and I'm coming for all. Yeah, of yeah. Fuck yeah. Wally fans. <laughs> it's just. No, I, I, think, think, I think a lot of the times, is just anything bad happens to Wally, and then it's the end of the world. Like I could never read DC Comics again because Wally insert thing happened to Wally. Yeah, it's like you know, give it a little break. You know, give give Wally some time. Yeah, Yeah. like aren't you? You're finally getting Wally back as the Flash, and you're gonna complain. Well, well, and 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 that's what I thought. That's what I thought. You're gonna complain that the biggest problem is that he's in someone's body. Like that's what I thought the complaints were gonna be about Future State when everyone was saying like everyone read the first issue before me. They were like, oh. It's so bad. It's so terrible. And I was like, all right, is it actually bad and terrible, or do people yeah, hate well, that's it? Because it's saying, like yeah. you know, yeah. and and I no, thought the same thing with issue too. That's why, like, I was like, do people like actually genuinely hate this? Like, is it actually bad? And yeah, it's not that great. It's fucking <laughs> bad. It's real bad. Could have done some <laughs> Narnia type shit. I don't know. <laughs> Narnia it would have been cool shit. to explore the Speed Force because I think that the Speed Force is like such an untapped potential of story because there's so much you could do with it. You know, it being a mystery is the coolest part about it. So to go exploring in it, especially in a place where you can't really control what's happening around you, there's a story to be told there. It's also like, it's just the most anti-Flash story. Like, I don't need every Flash story to be like, hopeful and optimistic but like it's this idea that future state has to be like dark and shit and everything yeah. is awful and it's just like this ending where it's like you know barry is kind of in character in the sense that you know he he still fought to the bitter end but i i mean i would still see barry like not giving up on wally the idea that halfway through this issue barry's just like i'm gonna kill you wally west so i can kill the thing in you like i was like okay is this what we're doing and then the end is that Oh, you went through all of that and it didn't matter. Oh, we didn't even talk about that the reason Jay and all that died isn't because Wally killed them necessarily. It's because Barry gave them hope that Wally could be saved 
And through that hope, famine was able to latch onto them. And that was what killed them. So basically all it is, is that Barry's hope gets everyone killed. That's the, that's future state, the flash. So stupid. Book. <laughs> yeah, before dumb. recording you, when we were planning, I said, I didn't read flash and both Harper and JD were just like, well, why not? Why not? Yeah, like, you, well, you, got, you, you have, have to read, read every it's DC so bad. Future The first issue. issue was so bad. <laughs> I didn't want yeah, to but you say that about every book you don't like, and then you read the next one anyway. God, yeah. this issue of Captain America. Yeah, you've been, reading, so you've, been re- you've been reading Ta-Nehisi Coates' Captain America for like yeah. 30 issues now. Just be proud that I finally did it, okay? <laughs> proud. You finally dropped it. I finally dropped a book. Yeah. I you did still it. read yeah. Ta-Nehisi Coates' Captain America. Wish well, there hasn't been a new issue. You. you keep get, you keep getting fooled by the Alex Ross covers. They, they are so good. <laughs> <laughs> like they're, they're really good covers in general. So. Like a five-year-old, yeah, or like a moth. Yeah, he's like Zack Snyder. Oh, this like, I love the yeah. yeah, yeah, that's all good. Uh, f- what else did we read? Harper and I. Wonder Woman. Over. Wonder Woman was awesome. It's yeah, such it was a good. cool book. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, good. yeah. Okay. I thought it was good. <laughs> Calm down. Sorry, I'm not like. Oh my god, it's every freaking Daredevil trait. It's it was fine. It was a good issue. <laughs> I, I really like the art in general. The way Joel yeah. Jones draws just anything made of metal is Mark. so good. She wrote, she should have did metal because there's a lot of metal on that. Why would she have done metal? Because she's really good at drawing <laughs> are... metal. Therefore, yeah, okay. remember in Metal Issue One how the whole league had metal on them? Yes. And Barry went like, "Wow, Aquaman! It's it kind of like your metal. your hook hand from back in the and day." And they and they Voltroned into a big robot and fought Mongol. Yes, I yeah. do remember that. Well, I forgot about the Mongol scene. I'm shocked. Do you remember? <laughs> I yeah. uh, so I, I was at um work the other day, and I saw one of my coworkers was reading metal on his computer. <laughs> and I went up. And I'm like, "Is that metal?" He's like, "Yeah, it's pretty sick." I'm like, "You just right. fucking knock it him is out. pretty sick." Do you I, remember when Challenger Mountain lands in the middle of Gotham? So he was oh. he was on issue one too. I'm just like, "Have you read it before?" He's like, "No," but I've heard such good things. I'm like. Oh, where did you read good things he's just like oh you know just read it i'm like reddit hates me. reddit on reddit <laughs> my, my 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 roommate's brother from college uh he was up one weekend and he saw that i had comics and he's like oh he, he likes star wars comics and he's like he's like oh i want to read some dc comics like you know what what do you recommend so you know i was talking with some characters that i like he's like what about metal like i heard a lot of good things about scott <laughs> snyder and i was like uh, well yeah it's like that's the thing <laughs> It's like all the people, you know, the people in like the comments of fact pages, like those, that's the audience oh, for metal. Yeah. The Batman who laughs, exactly what that once is. is able to cross the whole world. That's so accurate. Those, those, yeah. oh, those fact pages always start with one time Quicksilver was kidnapped and they always say one time, but never, yeah. sword. never actually show ever. panels. Yeah. It's yeah, always never like show panel, one time never anything show happened. One time Aunt mm-hmm. May was Peter Parker's mother. One time, blah, blah, blah. Like any, you can say that about mm-hmm. any comic character, about anything, yeah. you know? Yeah. That, that the fact page for you i it's saw i saw the by so many this was the funniest thing i saw it was like a, it was a meme that was half of it and it says like uh what women think men want to be versus what men think they are I, you got whatever this. it you was it was like the negative side of it was kevin feige jeff johns and walter hamada and the other side was like zach snyder and i don't know two other <laughs> fucking idiots right and it was just basically being like you know kevin feige yeah. that they're not real men like they didn't even i don't even think they used joss whedon they used kevin feige like i don't think it's anyone has a problem with kevin yeah. feige but they used him and the other side was like zach Snow. i was like zach Snow oh, it was Dave real Mayer men and yeah. shit like that yeah and all the comments were like yeah bro and then like some other people in the comments were like what the fuck's wrong with kevin feige what are we doing here there's some <laughs> fans out there that just hate on marvel for no reason well, the hate on that's Marvel same. because oh Those my god, it's same the page, stupidest thing. That in the same world. page took a picture of Joss Whedon and they took his hairline and traced it so that it looked like the Omega symbol. And I'm like, what are you trying to get at? <laughs> are this you dude, lying? Yeah, uh, he's like dark this side. Dude, this, yeah, this dude who was like a dickhead on set is actually dark <laughs> I'm like, what are you guys <laughs> fucking <laughs> reaching <laughs> for? <laughs> Such a joke. Yeah. Oh and that would mean he's dark side in the real world as well. Yeah, <laughs> that's exactly. It. 
the anti-life <laughs> equation will be mine. Ray Fisher, oh, dude, I, I like fact, like there are some fact pages like you're talking about where you're just like, okay, but like, what is that from? You're just saying a thing. Yeah. But I, I think those like die hard, and it doesn't matter who they follow, but those die hard like this is better than whatever this other thing is so funny. <laughs> Have you guys seen the fact post where it's like, um, it, it's about the Flash where Poison Ivy like pricked him with one of the things and he had to like outrun the poison and he they have like some number that they always use he he ran this fast around the earth I, but that's every listen, flash fan I'm, I'm like the biggest flash fan out there what issue no did he get pricked from. by poison yeah, i have Ivy? no idea that's <laughs> because that please may... enlighten me in which it happened flash guarantee probably... they make stuff up like, do you think always. flash is like the most fact like the character with the most dumb facts on Instagram. Well, I, I think so, yes, because because, because they try to put speed like numbers on things. Yeah, I don't give well, a he fuck. He ran this how fast. fast. Yeah, no one. Yeah, can I don't give a fuck. No if you tell me it's ninety three mi- million miles an hour versus if you tell me like it's a hundred miles an hour, I don't give a fuck. I, I really don't. It's like when it's like when people like compare speed numbers to find out who's the fastest. Oh, a, and there's people who gives a fuck. But B, if you read newest issues, it's like Wally is like the fastest dude in the universe. Yeah. It's like okay, well that's your well, answer. I mean, well, well, Why are you seen, comparing like, the fucking accounts, speed? The, the the feet like the the feats of like of of speed that they've done. So to be like, oh, he he outran instant teleportation, which at this calculation would have him at this. But uh, one time he moved outside of a bolt of lightning, which isn't actually that impressive. And it's like, who gives a fuck? <laughs> who gives a yeah, shit? I always run into that because people always ask, you know, it's always like people ask who's who would win or, you know, they go dark side versus Thanos. And I'm like, I don't give a fuck who would win that fight. Obviously, dark side would win that fight. Like, I don't care. I like mm. talking about who's the better character. Who's the more always, interesting character? They're so caught up on feats that I think a lot of that's a lot of Star Wars fans as well. I don't know if you noticed. They're like, oh, the insert character sucks because Anakin is stronger. Who gives a fuck? Yeah. Anakin <laughs> is stronger than Han Solo. I still like Han Solo more. <laughs> yeah. You know? Yeah. <laughs> that's, yeah, I think that's a thing with, with Dark Side as well. It. People think Darkseid is a better oh character. God. People like to he's... love the strongest character as if it fucking matters. I really don't think people have read comics with Darkseid in it. I mean, Darkseid Dark Side Side sucks. One, that's the thing. A lot of the books that he's in, he's not interesting. People he's like, got Final Dies in Dark Side War within fucking two see- issues. Final Crisis is your fucking benchmark for a Dark Side story? <laughs> what are you talking about? Like, I've fucking been... oh, sits until he gets shot and then he gets stabbed. <laughs> I've even seen oh, people man. bring up Dark Side War, which you know I, I gotta defend. Be like, yeah. oh, Dark Side's so strong, he caused an Earth a uh, war on Earth called Dark Dark Side War. I'm like, he dies, he dies, and like <laughs> they bring it back as a they bring it back as a baby in metal. Yeah, in the comic in the comic book Dark Side War, Dark Side initiates a Dark Side <laughs> War. <laughs> I just people like, bring up uh, people there bring he is. up Dark there he is. throwing up the horns, baby the side. Horns. He's yeah, the horns. people bring up Dark Apocalypse War like that's the greatest thing ever. It's like nobody wants what? to see Nightwing get stabbed in the chest. That, like, that yeah, animated people movie. like the most. Like, they like the most boring. hardcore. The most like people love what? that shit. I don't understand why. why. Like anytime it? people, I don't know. So people are always bad. like, oh well, you know, Marvel's great. You know, Captain America's cool, but I like the Century. Why? Because <laughs> <laughs> he's strong. <laughs> Sentry is a child. He's a I cool find. He's character, so but people always people always try to one up you with a stronger character, as if I give a fuck. As if you can. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I like you know. I I kind of like Spider Man. Oh, you like Spider Man? Well, try Hyperion. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> like. All right. Well, well, why, and, and, and it's the worst when like that? when when you actually post something that like you enjoy. So one time I post an impulse panel where. Um, he was like, he like stopped in midair. Like he stopped like while the bullets were coming at him and he was like able to think about it. And I was like, oh yeah, that's like a really cool thing. Like he stopped to think about the bullets and some account was like, well, actually it's not really that fast. I mean, the, the speed of a bullet versus like the speed. I'm like, I don't give a fuck. I just said, I, I like the care. moment. Yeah, it's, it's just cool. a cool moment. Yeah, exactly. Like, oh my God. Like, I, I truly think the people that get most caught up in feats are the people that read like three comics in their yeah, whole life. I don't, they don't understand <laughs> feats. They're always like, you know, people... Somebody was like, oh, I think this was really cool. Nightwing hacked into the Justice League Watchtower once. Okay, that's yeah. kind of cool. Why is that like the coolest thing about Nightwing? Yeah, how, how about yeah. his character development over the yeah. run? You know, like, you know what is, is that oh, cool? That's, yeah, people, there was a, oh man, that, there was oh, a time. Shit, I hate it. I might have been talking. Time above. There was a time, time above. Before. I might have been talking <laughs> to Tyler this time, but I don't think I was talking with you yet, Harper. This was like three years ago. I was Ooh. talking with JD knows about Those this. I won't say his name, but I called someone out. A fact page for not reading comments. Yeah, I remember that. 
for not reading any comics oh, and he man. went on instagram live i'm not gonna say the name and he i will comedian of comics it. oh jeez you just straight up oh that it. guy's a dickhead i remember the that. podcast who gives a fuck he yelled at me on he instagram live he's like look, look look i read comics right here he was showing batman hush i'm like okay sorry he looks like he looks like Star the angry guy from inside out batman book in history yeah. i'm like i'm sorry you you read batman hush i see that he's like oh, 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 oh killing joke i'm like okay. dude i've read hush i've read killing joke i've, I've read, read year some one. of scott snyder's batman <laughs> No, he didn't have yeah. any Scott Snyder stuff. He had Watchmen, though. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah. What, a, what an indie book. I'm sorry. You, you read some. <laughs> I don't know if you've heard of this little minor indie book called Watchmen. No. Like, I, I see you. You always, have like, comics they think they're in a on cult there. for liking Watchmen. Yeah. Everybody like, fucking likes Watchmen. I get it. Some of you people have read a lot of big, well known comics. But I, I mean, like, when you run a comic page, usually people expect you to read day-to-day comments yeah you know? well you and gotta understand like you gotta comedian is in his name first so he's a comedian first and foremost we, we yeah. can't neglect yeah, it was really that. fucking funny the funny thing it is was he hilarious. changed his name like a year later so, so he went on this whole like titty attack about it and he ended up changing it anyway yeah i'm just i'm just like hey why do you have comics in your name if you're not reading comics he's like <laughs> I'm sorry. No, I, I remember that. that that was a great day hunter made a post I remember that he, too yeah hunter made a post and he was like oh like like, why would you have comics in your name if you if you don't actually post about comics at Community of Comics at uh, TC Does Comics, which is another one who's, like, unbearable. That and, guy is such a cunt. I'll just, oh, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh really annoying. <laughs> is that the no, heart? I fully agree. Fully agree. I didn't even mean Are to say that word. Are we allowed to say that on this yeah, show? I, it's, I, it's an Australian yeah. word for – it's an Australian common Cause, term. Because I'm Australian mean, and I love saying it. I didn't even – damn, okay. Over yeah. You're not I wrong just, though. You're not I, wrong. I, yes. I just couldn't believe Ty- like the fact that Tyler was the first person in a hero story history to say that word is surprising. <laughs> not you. I, I just can't believe that. Yeah, exactly. like, honestly, a, I really, I really wanted to be the first. Response. I yeah. really wanted to be the first one to say it, and the fact that you did is a total cunt move. There we go, silver uh. medal. <laughs> <laughs> this really is the death of a hero story. We're calling out people. Hi, JD's dad. <laughs> This is basically Timmy's talk. Like this is yeah, this could this literally is, just be posted. Oh, this is exactly talk. yeah. We maybe we should just cut this off. <laughs> uh, no, right. this will be the trailer. This will be like, oh, if people really like this. Yeah, what? Like this will be the next Timmy talk. About? If you like we're this, about gonna, Wonder Woman. <laughs> we're we're doing a Timmy's talk. Dark uh, side or a side show where we metal. just talk about stuff. We started talking about metal. And then I and then I called. We out. got from Wonder Woman. Oh, Joelle like, Jones. She you said she should have drawn. She draw. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow. Yes, yes, yes. wow. Anyway, that, that was a deep dive down the rabbit hole. Can, Can I, I get... tell you guys a funny thing? Yeah. <laughs> I've patched. I've patched it over with this guy, so we're cool. But the other day, I posted some panels of Sean Chen's work from Iron Man. And people were like messaging me, going, "He looks like you." He doesn't, but whatever. No, he and this does. One other He's got dude, your eyes. This dude was just like, "Dude, if you lost, if you lost some weight, you'd look so much like Tony Stark." And I was like, "What the fuck, man!" <laughs> <laughs> Straight away, just like, "If you weren't such a fat <laughs> shit, maybe you'd look cool." If you weren't yeah. such a fatty, you'd look like Tony Stark. I was like, "What the fuck?" <laughs> Uh, we patched it over it's it's good in the end he seems like a nice guy but what the it was so random oh god and it was interspersed between like other people being like hey that kind of looks like you and then just like hey fatty <laughs> oh, oh wow that's good that's good timmy still uh, i give uh future state wonder woman a solid 8.5 i would say it's like a solid seven it was a good issue she she tried to save her friend she she fucked it up she didn't save a friend did you think okay do you think yeah. it was weird that she like fails in this thing and she's distraught and then her pegasus jerry comes up yeah. and like nuzzles next to her and she's like oh jerry you're so annoying i was like aren't you like supposed to be upset that you just failed she was immediately like, she was yeah. like on the ground, like, no, no, I, I failed. Oh, Jerry, <laughs> Jerry, like, there you are. The issue ended. It's like, oh, okay, is this continuing? <laughs> is this gonna be a part three? I don't think it is. No, I think that's it. I'm pretty sure that's it. That kind of wrapped up the story. So I was like, uh, all right. Yeah, she just rides through hell, talks to the devil, I guess. Yeah, or Hades, whoever it was. What do you think of next Batman three? It's the same as all the other issues where it's a lot of action. Yeah, yeah. I feel though. like there's not like, much. I mean, development. it's good, but it's just it. no. It was Tim Fox Batman is getting way more development in Nightwing. Who drew it? Uh, same guy. <laughs> At, 
as the issue same guys one the or previous two. issue oh, okay, it's yeah. not Nick oh, Derrington. That was not helpful at all. No. <laughs> same guy. Of the two, same guy. <laughs> yeah, because yeah, Derrington was like the I mean, I think it's cool Tim Fox Batman is an idea, but I wasn't very hooked and Derrington was the the reason I was going to keep reading. Yeah, no. It's And then I I mean I haven't stopped reading. I'll get my issues eventually, but it's it, yeah, it's not pretty... much happened. The only thing that happened is like Blue Mask Man is probably Jason Todd, right? Because he's got a chip on his shoulder about Batman. He wants to kill Batman. Um, Tyler, I swear you just turned purple. I I noticed that too. Are oh, you just? There was like a purple. Did you see my face? Did I didn't see. Yeah, I saw your face. I was gonna was... say. I think I just turned purple. I didn't that, see that. Oh, that that's a tease. It's like oh it's my, beginning. That was so weird. Can we? <laughs> I've never seen it happen to myself. <laughs> anyway oh, oh you scared me i actually jumped that <laughs> wasn't even a scare i got so jump? excited no no you don't understand i got so excited i scared myself yeah that was on purpose <laughs> oh my god i know oh i had a heart attack I turned myself purple oh. for a second because i got Jesus the power Christ. I just um, realized we're almost at the end of the show and I haven't done the other character I was going to introduce. So I'm going to ham fist it somewhere in here in the next five minutes. <laughs> oh gosh. Uh, I mean, that's next Batman. I give it like a, like a seven. I thought this was the, actually the weakest of. Yeah. I'd probably say the same. 6.5. Yeah, it's end, a good but... issue, but like, Not sorry to the happened. people who listen for the comics of the week, but like there wasn't really much going on, man. <laughs> but there was a legend of Shane. She's number one. Why did this come out? I don't but that's understand. got even less to talk about. It's just a fight scene. Yeah, so Is all it, cool? it was was a fight scene. Who wrote scene. it? Um, Alyssa someone. Alyssa Wong. Okay. And artist yeah. was Andy Tong. <laughs> they were. <laughs> Hunter looks so fucking happy with himself that they oh were God, rhyming no. fucking names. <laughs> He looked at us for like approval. Validation, like, yeah. Like, like it's <laughs> funny, right? I guess. They're just people's last names. I suppose so. <laughs> All it was was a fight scene in the end. Um, so I say, why did this come out? Because this is a one shot that didn't need to be a one shot. All of which was really a fight scene that we don't see any powers being used to their full potential here. I don't think they're going to be given Shang Chi a, like a, 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 a what the fuck is the word? You got this, man. Just point out that JD could post a photo of himself sitting still and like <laughs> put it over the camera for fucking two hours and no one would notice that he wasn't in the episode. <laughs> what do you do? You just <laughs> sit there. <laughs> Oh my god, I lost the I think it was I think it was mo- oh, oh it came back, it came back. There was a purple there was a purple here. Oh I, I didn't see it. I, didn't yeah, see I saw it. a tiny bit out of the Oh, it's coming back. <laughs> I think it was I think it was Mo that said to said to us about like sent a photo of Jade. Oh, it was Mo or is Aiden, one of them, shout out. Um about JD like always looking down and, and looking sad. And I was like, he's always on his phone. Who he texted? <laughs> Who he talking fair- to? To be fair, last week I was checking the stocks, not testing. ongoing. GameStop. That's the word I was looking for. Shane, she's not going to get an ongoing, I don't think. Ongoing. I yeah. think he will after the movie's out. I don't think he's got a universe big enough. That's why you got to make one. Oh. Do you know what universe Solve is the bigger than Shang Chi? What? Here we go. <laughs> Fast and Furious, starring Jason Statham. <laughs> That's the character. Jason Statham. Hello, it's my Jason Statham. What's it like working with The Rock? <laughs> oh, I don't remember. Is Vin Diesel actually stupid? He's very stupid. I punched him once. Okay, what Jason happens? Statham, this is a legitimate question that I've actually brought up recently with some friends. It's it's not, no, it's not Jason Statham. It's Jason Statham. <laughs> right, I'm sorry about that. Um, oh so God. I think it's called the Italian job. Yeah, um, I was in that. Why are you called Handsome Rob? I find that you're not that. I'm, f- I'm pretty fucking ugly, aren't I? <laughs> I mean, you're like, like you look young in that movie. Like it's an early 2000s movie, but you're also balding. Yet My dad was like, a bulldog. <laughs> <laughs> it's like. Everyone, I'm, I'm handsome Rob. And they're like, why do you call him? Ha- why do you call that? <laughs> why do you call that? <laughs> why do they call you handsome Rob? It's like, I'm going to fucking pass it. <laughs> uh, 
So if you want more of this kind of content, you're going to go over to youtube.com slash hero story and wait for the next video that's called And Tindy's subscribe. Talk. Please subscribe. <laughs> Did you know that uh, that most of our listeners are Oh, God. I, I hate when YouTubers say, <laughs> now, not, according to this graph, 97%. <laughs> who gives a fuck? That was a bull <laughs> So I said that's <laughs> because if there was going to be any human whose father was a bulldog, it would be Jason Statham. Oh, Harper's crying. Oh, More thumbnail I'm content. Fucking, I'm, I'm like, oh my god. So <laughs> it was also because he was asking oh, oh, a totally oh, unrelated question. <laughs> my dad was a bulldog. Oh god. Because <laughs> the, the thing is, I believe it. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. That's it. You can't nothing else. <laughs> I feel oh, like, like pass out. <laughs> oh fuck! My dad is a bulldog. That's oh, a hero story. Is Shang Chi good? Uh, Shang Chi was was. I mean, it was good. It's just. <laughs> <laughs> just was the point? okay i say well <clears throat> i say what was the point because uh it just had a mini series and i think it just ended but like this thing <laughs> this out, which apparently didn't tie into the mini series it just <laughs> it just Harper, harper's hacking up a lung right now Jeez. harper's muted dying oh i think he's gargling his water <laughs> Oh, oh, I think that's the hardest I've laughed on this show ever. Oh, I fucking died. <laughs> Jason <right>. Statham? <laughs> that was good. All right, that's it. Uh, okay. There's nowhere to go. There's nowhere to go. <laughs> I rate Shang Chi like like seven. I enjoyed it, but what was the oh, point? Because it's not fine. being continued either. And that's it for your story. All right, because oh, uh, someone needs to end this show. Because Jesus Christ has gone on forever. Um, I'm crying. Uh, Hero story. Uh, if you could subscribe and follow, uh, Hunter like dies every single night. He has to edit this podcast. He looks oh, like I Coraline's forgot I had to dad. Do that. He looks like Coraline's dad. So if you want to, um, you know, if you want to, yeah, yeah. So if you want to, uh, you know, help him by subscribing, he would really Please. appreciate that more than any of us would. Please. Um, and if you want to give a thumbs up to the video or maybe comment like, thank you, Coraline's dad, because that'll make Hunter happy. Um, that'd be cool, too. It's OK. Uh, otherwise, I got my 1 a.m. break where I go to watch WandaVision and then it's back to like back to the grind. Back to, um, <laughs> yeah, literally. But but anyway, uh, if you're listening anywhere else, we appreciate a follow uh, or subscribe, I guess is also things. Uh, leave a review and all that. And yeah, that's it for Hero Story. So uh, for Hero Story, I'm JD. And I'm Hunter, and thanks for being here. <laughs> and remember, every second you will look like this. Yeah. <laughs> uh. <laughs>